Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of Airstreamers, where you never know which stream will ride. Thank you for being here. Happy Friday, everyone. Heidi, thank you for starting us out with a six-month sub. Um, you have you and many of you guys on the chat right here are um, OGs, like from the beginning. I can't believe it's been six months. Amazing. I, I mean, I saw the message come up a moment ago when Heidi uh, resubscribed, and I looked at Chris. I'm like, wait, six months? Bonkers. Six months. Crazy. How, how are you guys putting up with us for so long? Which actually is perfectly in line with Brian's uh, prediction that our 100th episode would be in October. Yeah. Wait, is that right? Um, we didn't start numbering the episodes oh, right, right, until right. a few in. Yeah. But that's, that's what it was. That was my biggest accomplishment or my biggest contribution to the stream. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Ralph. See, uh, sorry to cut you off, Chris. Yeah, I saw her mom is doing yeah, better. That's great. Yeah. Um, What's your biggest contribution? Deciding to number the episodes. I, I mean, I literally came up with that idea. I think I did. I literally came up with that idea. I came up with the idea. Literally no. said, Chris, the oh, we're going to fight. Today. I literally <laughs> said, why don't we start numbering the episodes like one, two, three. And you're like, yeah, that sounds good. And then we switched it because I used to number them like Bowser's Fury. If we played it three times then it's Bowser's Fury one, Bowser's Fury two, Bowser's Fury three. But in the midst of that, if we did something else. <laughs> I remember this very differently. I remember saying that it would be really fun to have them numbered so that we could always re reference back and say, literally oh. what I said, these are my <laughs> words. What are you saying? Oh my God. Are you even for real? In my mind, literally, this was my statement. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Folks, listen to me. I decided, uh, whatever that was, because I saw it online. Someone did it online, and I'm like, I think that's a really smart way of numbering our episodes, especially if it continues and we do this regularly. It would be so confusing to know, like, did Bowser's Fury 2 air before or after Valheim 4, you know? And so we decided, I suggested to Chris, I'm like, why don't we number them, starting with whatever number one was? And uh, he was like, yeah, that sounds great. And I said, so that we can reference these things in the future like episode 20 do you Listen, all know what episode 20 was we can put a pin in it i think it's still up for discussion oh no it's not but i will be very impressed if anyone can recall what number 20 was i have like an image of it in my in my head it's i don't a, think i know what number 20 was uh whenever i let's vote <laughs> are we starting right away let's vote i will add a poll that says who started whose idea was it to number the episodes let's do that <laughs> right heidi said we talked about it on stream is it a w h uh o s e who yeah not who is whose idea was it to number Leslie, he didn't get another haircut. Just before the stream started, he turns to me, he's like, I forgot to put gel in my hair. So he is like El Natural. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah, I hate it. I mean, I, not really. I don't really I think hate it's it, cute. But, um, thank you, Chris. Well, anyway, there's a poll happening right now if you want to, in, in, uh, what's the word? Listen, if you entertain us. No more patches if I lose this poll. Sam and Watson said, I feel like Elias <laughs> is the practical one and would suggest that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do a poll. Do you get your hair? Oh, yeah. No. Thank you, Leslie, for, for saying that. No, it is all, like, just natural. I just uh, showered beforehand, which, uh, you know, I do sometimes. And then, um, <laughs> that's harsh, Chris. <laughs> and then of McDonald's loyalty. I mean, always and forever. I want, oh, my God. Dead to me. I <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, so tonight's patch, <laughs> I <Watson>. don't want to <laughs> hype it up too much. But I really think it's some great work on my part. No, hype, 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 all the way. It is just, I'm very proud of this, and I can't wait to dissect it a little bit because of um, the things I learned doing it. It's going to be great. 
I am floored by it. I listen. I'm editing the episodes that I do the highlights on and stuff like that. Um, thank you, Beach, please. Oh, thanks, Beach, please. Um, so I and and right now we are airing episode forty nine, but I am currently editing episode thirty eight. So I'm about whatever that is ten episodes behind, right? And it's crazy because I'm seeing Chris's journey. Like I'm living through Chris's journey now, but then I'm also seeing Chris's journey in the past and seeing him go from that first little heart that was just the outline to the next week, which was like the cheddar patch and seeing him grow and grow and grow. And there's one episode where he says uh, something about how he's nervous that he's like reached the peak and it's going to like, where does he go from here? And he's continuously surprised. So I'm going to hype it up because I'm really proud of him, but I think that this is my favorite patch that he's made so far. Oh my God. 68%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was my idea in the books, scientific poll that proven. No, I scientifically proven. Okay. We that are, it was my idea. We're canceled now. <laughs> like I'm, can, I'm choosing to cancel the show. Uh, but yeah. So Leah said, can we all see who each person votes for? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Let me see. I can view the results and then it shows me, um, no, I can't. Yeah, that's like witness protection. Yeah. Because they don't want Elias <laughs> coming after them. <laughs> that's so funny. No, but... Uh, oh, I can show this off if I wanted to. There's like a URL there, Chris. That's funny. But I will not. We're going to delete this one. I invented numbering. That's right. Uh, I am, in my mind, certain that I'm the one who did it. But... That's neither here nor there. We'll discover that or look for it another day. And I guess I should write that down in the book, right? What? Um, I'm just in my head. All I'm thinking about <laughs> is my patch. So if I'm going to like pee my pants if we don't show it soon. Uh, okay. So listen, tomorrow we are going to be streaming um, Among Us. We have never done such a thing. We have no idea how it's going to work. Um because there's a lot of like moving parts involved. Um, and we are going to offer any open spots to anyone who's watching. I mentioned this last time, but I just want to re like recap it with you that you don't need a specific version of among us. It just needs to be like, I guess the latest updated version, but any place you have among us from like, whether it is your phone or whether it's the switch or Xbox, you can, we can all play together. So that's what is going to happen tomorrow. And if you don't know what Among Us is, it's a game where up to 10 people um, try to figure out which one of the 10 murders someone in this little spaceship. And it sounds gruesome, but it's like sort of just funny. It's like cartoony. Yeah, it's cartoony. But what happens is like if I'm playing and, you know, I go and murder Leah and she doesn't know um, or she knows that it's me but no one else knows that it's me. I need to pretend that it wasn't me and I, t I need to start placing the blame on someone else, you know? Cheddar um, wants this troll butt juice. Yeah, it's because it smells like uh, pineapple juice, which uh, Teresa Judice would be really excited about. Wait, do cats like pineapples? I don't know. It's not quite like a murder mystery g game. It's, it's like a social experiment. It's like I need to be the better convincer to let people know that it was really Chris who murdered them rather than me. <clears throat> yeah, that's you know? the goal too, right? That like you're trying to sabotage the other team. So there's like a team of people who have to accomplish certain tasks and then the one saboteur and that um, the saboteur is trying to kill people and not get caught. The people who are not the saboteur are trying to go in and uh, accomplish these tasks and if they com accomplish them without what is it if they accomplish them without if they accomplish them in time then the murder person wins no, no the opposite of that I think <clears throat> yeah something happens Leah said, you know. have these little characters that complete things and no one can see you and always there is no one no talking during gameplay, only voting. It's fun, easy to learn. But the thing is, there, there is, there could be talking and there should be talking when it comes time to vote. 
because then what happens is everyone starts verbally. We're going to open it up through discord. So it's like a verbal thing, but then it could be like, no way. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't blame me. Blame Chris. He was the one in the engine room and I saw him do it. And then he's like, no it's way. Like blame clue, Elias. Right. Someone said that, but it's different because it just, every single person is a possible culprit. And so then the question but is, I think that's the who, same in clue, who is though, the right? imposter among us? That's what the whole thing is. Wait, you know? so if the person doesn't get caught or voted out, then the person wins after a certain number amount of rounds? Is that well, how it is? We're, look, I told Chris, I'm like, tomorrow during the day, we have to prep this. Like, we need to play the game a little bit more than we have, figure out what's going on. Um, and if you do buy it from anywhere, it's not much. It's like a couple of bucks. It's like five bucks or so. So... <clears throat> Imposter Steve said, if you're talking Among Us, I downloaded it the other day and it's very confusing. It is, but... Uh, Imposter Steve, listen, it's in your DNA. <laughs> literally, Steve. Like, you need to play this, you know? So that's what's I happen. feel like your matrimony is based on imposterism. <laughs> Imposter Steve and Imposter Wife, literally, their marriage is all around that. So you're natural, you're natural at this game. Big time. Um, but that's going to be tomorrow. And the reason I'm mentioning it to you is because if you want to download it now and start playing and like um, and exploring and figuring out what the controls I are. I think we have to do that. We're yeah, hosting yeah. it and we haven't done that we yet. We literally have no idea. It's going to be a full-fledged dumpster fire if you don't know what to expect already. Uh, but it's going to be a good time. We won't be on the stream tomorrow, said Imposter C, but we will all be able to shore to catch the next Among Us stream. Well, it looks like everything is canceled then. <laughs> Um, but I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so download it on your iPhone or your Android or your, uh, switch, uh, PC, Xbox, PS4. Imposters everywhere. Yeah. I think it's just five bucks. If in the event that you were considering downloading it, I thought um, it was free though on the phone. Wasn't it free? And then it's like, if you want to get rid of ads, it's five bucks. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I think you're right. We don't know anything. We're we going to be Don't listen. We're in authority on nothing. Literally. Except embroidery. Yeah. I mean, and who numbered the episodes, which was me. Um, there was a vote on that. So excuse me. Um, Sam and Watson is downloading on my phone now. Awesome. <clears throat> so the way to, the tomorrow's going to work is going to be that um, we have some people already going to be playing with us. And there's probably going to be, I'm assuming, one or two spots like open. And what we're going to do um, since tomorrow is going to be me and Chris figuring it out. We don't want to open it up to like everyone just yet. <clears throat> so we're going to have a like a raffle, like sort of the same as a giveaway. Um, and the whoever wins that will... I guess we can, I don't know, like take turns or something. How would that work? We'll figure it out. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Know. So, yeah, I think for iOS and for Android, it's free. I think it's for the Switch and for all the, the other consoles. consoles that it's five bucks. <clears throat> I do know for the Switch, it is five dollars for sure. But if you have something else and it's a little easier to control on the Switch than it is on iOS and Android. So Sam and Watson, well, there go my chance of playing on everyone a raffle. We will do this more, but tomorrow is just an experiment to figure out how in the world is this going to work. Because the, the thing about playing Among Us is if you are one of the participants playing, you can't, by the honor system, you can't watch the stream. Because the stream is going to show you, for example, my screen if you're watching our screen, it will show you whether I'm an imposter or not. You get what I mean? So at the end of the day, like you, it needs to be like all of us on, on some sort of like honor system to like, as we're playing, no one look at the screen at all. So lots of chatter emotes. Apparently folks, there is a new system in place for emotes that allow you, allows you to animate them. So I don't know what that's about. If anyone can figure it out, we only just got an email today about it. If anyone can like- I think you can, we might be able to make animated. No, before the little messages that came up, it said, if you want to turn off animated. Oh. Like meaning that you can set it from my quick review of it, that it, it like you pick something that says, um, I don't know, what's the word? Uh, Yes or no? Jittery or something. And then like Cheddar bops his head up and down or something. 
you know. Oh my God. Cheddar, you listen, there's no room in the muskrat cam. No vacancies. Leah wants you to pet them though, because I have a giant computer on me and I can't. Cheddar. Oh, he's going in for the goods. Cheddar, leave her alone. Cheddar. Please. Oh my God. Before we start, Eloise has turned into a full cat. She, for years, how, how many years have we had her now? Like three years? Yeah, about three years. <clears throat> she has always done her own thing. She's very independent. And now all of a sudden, she's gotten to a point where she just loves being around us. And all around you, not me. She has now like become a lap cat and she just wants to sit on my lap all the time. And Elias made a point that we think it's more that she wants this chair, like this is her chair. And so it's a, it's that I'm in her spot. And so she's just reclaiming her spot by sitting on top of me. But we were trying to set up the stream right before and getting like, and you saw if you were on muskrat meals, all the cables and everything. And um, so it's not really a convenient spot. And she was just insistent on sitting on top of my lap with the keyboard and everything. And she, I mean, I'm here for she it. She knows what she wants and she's going to yeah. get what she wants. Yeah, I know. You know, she's phenomenal. Um, a couple of things also I wanted to talk about that um, our podcast is live and we are still learning a little bit about it. It's live on Apple Podcasts, and there are currently two episodes. We just, before we started the stream, published a third, and the third will likely be available like by tomorrow. We are at a point where we're trying to figure out what the timing of it all is, but the way that we're going to incorporate podcasts into this whole sort of shebang is that me and Chris have come up with uh, a way. We set up earlier than usual, and we sit down and we have like a 10 to 15 minute BS session, whatever it is. Uh, we're calling it the PPS, which is the P, uh, pre, no, the podcast pre-show, <laughs> right? It's not confusing at all. And it's very straightforward. It's the podcast pre-show, <laughs> but it's only available <laughs> after the podcast. Yes. Right? Totally makes sense. Yeah, totally. Uh, and so we have one version of those already, and it's it's a fun one. And then th today's, we just recorded moments before, and we uploaded it, so I don't know how long that's going to take. It's off in Apple land right now somewhere. Yeah, I'm assuming maybe tomorrow. I made it available like immediately, but again, that's very ambiguous in the podcast world. Um, but I'm very excited for you all to listen to it. Because it's silly and it's funny. And uh, today's episode focuses on Chris um, ranking random items. Okay? So, like, uh, the most random things in the world, Chris has to rank them. And it's really funny. And I'm surprised by some of his uh, choices. So, definitely consider downloading the episodes um, and we only accept five star reviews. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. You can rate us whatever you want or not download or whatever, you know, you do you Spotify um, says they need you guys. Yeah. I, listen, it is so complicated to do the stupid podcast. It's stupid. I'm like invested in it now, but the thinking of going outside of like one platform is just like my brain. It I think work. you'll get there. It's just, we need to, Figure it out first. Yeah, and so... On one platform. I think that we have it all settled in on Apple Podcasts. Listen, Podcast, we can't so. all have exponential growth like I've seen in embroidery. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> With that, can I show my patch, please? I'm yeah, going to literally it, squirm it. out of my do pants. It. All right, we are now coming up to our Craftocam Crafts with Chris session. And Chris is going to lose his mind... At showing you this, and I am too. Ready? Kick it off, Elias. Listen, this is my crowning achievement. No pun intended. Um, I was thinking for a long time, if you remember, like one of my earlier patches was um, Cheddar. And I... Uh, wanted to really do this one right and so i took a little bit of time to focus on it and decide on what would be the perfect way to portray it thanks so fella. 
I'm going to show you what the patch is first, and then I'll walk you through what I've done. So this is my Eloise patch. Look at this patch. And it says, bend the knee. And it has a metal thread crown and a heart that has like a, um, a gradient in the upper left. Waffle. And it's got this really cool outline for the, um, the border. And it has a really nice texture on Eloise's fur, which was very important. This is over 12,000 stitches for Eloise. Only the best for her. Only the best. So um, I'm going to take you through what uh, it took to make the patch. So <laughs> when was that hashtag waffle? <laughs> I started with this one. I needed it to be a little bit bigger because I wanted to make sure I got the texture right on everything. So this is like massive Eloise. This is basically life size. Um, and this will not be entering the world because this is just a test pattern. Uh, but Oh, it's huge. It is. It's massive. Look at this in comparison. So the one on the left, I did like a certain color pattern and I, I was guess. really like a huge fan of it. Um, and I wanted to like make it purple. I feel it like purple is like a royal color, right? Isn't purple a royal color? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And so sure. I didn't really love the red, even though it matched the heart. Um, and I wanted to have some something more like than just saying queen at the top. So I did the bend the knee. More than what? Queen. It says queen oh, on this one. Oh, okay. And then I changed it to bend the knee on this one. Um, and then also. I resized it down. So something that's funny about this, again, this is 12,000 stitches. Um, this pattern here, you will find on no other patch. This pattern for her fur is a custom pattern that I made to give this like illusion that she's got like this puffy fur. Um, so I made this pattern that did this like fill across her and then I stitch ev everything on top of it. Um, and then when I resized it, like some of the stitches got a little bit weird with this, with like her tongue. So I fixed that and I decided, I mean, a queen really isn't a queen without a crown. And I had this really cool metal thread that I wanted to use. So I made a crown and put it on her and then bend the knee was a little bit small. So I figured I had some room over in this upper left. I'll move the heart over there and I'll make bend the knee a little bit bigger. And then the final result. So this is the one that we'll be giving away today. Again, I mean, this is top tier. I content. think I have to um, pay extra postage because of how heavy it is with all the stitches. Kate Tonelli said, uh, the music, the patch, I can't. How have I missed this Twitch thing? <laughs> Thank you. And Thank Steve you. said, the, ba the music is almost as good as the bathroom music. So you'll hear the bathroom music at some point. I'm sure that I will be peeing. Do you know, so a couple of things I learned on this one, which was like, one, I learned how to make this a custom pattern for the fill in here. So that was one thing I learned. I also learned how to do a gradient, which was this heart that like kind of fades down. You can see it more in person, but it fades down at the point at the bottom. Um, I also, lower. I also learned how to do this outer border that looks like a patch, which is really cute. And I can do this in all sorts of shapes. And the last thing that I learned was how to really work with this metal thread. So the metal thread has like a, um, normally it's polyester thread that I'm working with on all the other stitching, but the metal thread has like, a, it's like a little bit more um, prone to breaking. And so as it's working through the machine, I found out that the metal thread, you have to like lower the tension on the machine and then you have to like slow the machine down when it gets to the metal thread. But I feel like I'm a pro at it now, so. Everyone is losing their minds. I am so excited. They, uh, Leah is telling everyone to send uh, Venmo to at Leah <laughs> because that's how you win. <laughs> uh, and Steve and also Sam and Watson, I, I don't disagree with you. I think that there should be something where we show you how it all works. Um, yeah, we should do like questions. a muskrat 
uh, what what would we do? Mending with muskrats. Mending with muskrats, maybe. <laughs> uh, but for sure, I think that it would. It be is a. Cool it's definitely a process. I mean, the Shutter. like running a test stitch on this takes some time because it's again, it's the like twelve thousand stitches. It's a, it's a lot. So this is what the plan is. There's going to be a new stitch. Or- oh yeah, Dara, we could just make it a Twitch thing and take the craft cam upstairs. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're giving one away today. Thank you, Leo. Um, what we're also going to do is I have a second one that I made. So these are, this is 24,000 stitches right here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're giving one away today and one away tomorrow. So if you tune in tomorrow, you'll get a second chance to win if you don't win today. Um, and in addition, tomorrow, I have a new design that I've been holding um, for a little bit now. And I will give away a second new patch tomorrow. So listen, everybody, like, this is the patch giveaway of the century. Um, and so... Did you answer Kathy's question of how long did it take to make one? The design, like, end-to-end? No, or? I think the, the actual production of it, the sewing. Um, it's probably about, like, 20 minutes. I do have quite a few color changes in this one, so that slows the process down. Um, but I think it's about like 20, 25 minutes of machine work. Not including all the work put into it. No, I mean, the design takes a little like it. I've been thinking about this design for a while because I wanted to do Eloise justice. I mean, only the best for her. Um, and Eloise, I hope I delivered. Leslie said, I'm dying. You need to make like 100 of these. Can you even with it? <laughs> also, folks, understand this is custom like Nowhere else in any world or any timeline does this exist. This is a once in a lifetime situation. Unless Chris opens up a factory to make these and like that, <laughs> then it's whatever. And never everyone gets a patch. You get a patch, they get a patch. So everyone is saying you delivered. Thank I want to see it you. on the back of my Helen Rose tote. Aww. Yeah, and it's a sticker, so you can stick it wherever you want. Steve said, when is the Etsy shop happening? Chris has been very clear from the very beginning that this doesn't, uh, he hopes this doesn't turn into work, because I think then that becomes like not as fun, you know? But you never know. Yeah, I mean, maybe like if I have extra ones, maybe I'll like put them up for charity or something. Um, But right now, I'm just totally living in the moment. I love this little hobby that I've come across. It's a little bit out of nowhere, um, but I am here for it. You could do charity bidding for charity. You can, you could do charity bidding for charity. Yeah, totally. I love that they started doing this random craft and the whole community is going crazy and ready to fight each other over these. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, said Meg. Quotes. Uh, Steve said, I think you guys need a factory in Indonesia with a labor force. <laughs> okay, <laughs> redundant. Abishi said, this came from Chris, a beautiful mind brain people. Yes, Chris is a beautiful mind brain. <laughs> totally. Charity starts at home. Oh my God, this is so funny. The so raffle yeah, will start a little later. We are not going to do it right now. Um, this calls for a shot. No, too soon. I'll see myself out. Not yet. <laughs> our um, our rule that's not really a written rule is we will take a shot if and when we reach the level four hype train. But that's like, you know, we've done that many a time. And those are the streams where by the end, I'm like, what just happened? You know, it's so funny. Is Sam and, Wat- um, Sam and Watson, are you asking which machine I have? For I'm the, assuming that's what they're asking. Um, I, uh, yeah, okay. So it's the Brother SE 1900 is what I have. Brother SE 1900. Yeah. I think there are like, uh, there are a lot of them out there that are pretty good. Um, this one was on sale when I got it and, uh, I am, I love it. I think I've, you know, I've learned it pretty quickly. It's really easy to use. Um, and that's, that's a uh, crafts with Chris today. Uh, Kate, Kate and Ellie, we did not drink the drink yet. We are going to do that yet uh, in a little. Yeah. Where's Jody? This is literally her thing. Um, as in not really her thing. She just messaged in the discord. If you are new to joining us here on the Twitch stream, we also have a discord, uh, group, which is, it sounds more complicated than it is. It's just like a, um, a chat room essentially where we all hang out post, uh, stream and we, we all chat 
And Jody, who is totally irregular, who's not here tonight, said that, um, or she messaged the group of Discord and said that we should make this drink for the stream tonight since we're going to be playing Valheim a little later. And the drink is like a light blue pineapple vodka drink. And it reminded her of the, the troll, troll butt yeah. that, that's in Valheim that we've repeatedly laughed at and talked about. And so uh, Leah said it's like 4,000 chat rooms. Yes, you can mute whatever ones you don't want to be a part of. But yes, everyone is saying, where's Jody? We don't know where Jody is, but um, we are still going to have the drink. And we are temporarily, I guess, going to be replacing it uh, for wine during wine o'clock. Now, I have to be honest with you. The drink is to my left, like in between me and Chris, and the smell is so overwhelming that I'm going to throw up. I'm not really going to throw up. I, but I don't know what to expect. I mean, I almost think I want to try lot. it because then if it's really not not our jam, then we, we can need just to get default to wine, to wine or yeah, something. Because I'm a little nervous. It's uh, Do you have the, the screenshot, Chris, by any chance? Of what? The... Uh, saying, hey, Jody and Discord made me realize my Twitch notifications are not working. Thanks, guys. Oh, LOL. Yeah, um, this is, wait, uh, of the recipe? The recipe, yeah. It yeah. is called Holy Water. It's an ounce of vodka, an ounce of rum, a half an ounce of blue curacao. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Half an ounce of peach schnapps, four ounces of lemonade, and a splash of pineapple juice. This is acid central. Oh, my this God. You're going to throw up. Definitely going to make me throw up. Can you up. take a Tums or something beforehand? So that I'm not hearing you like. No, I'm fine. I'm. It's all good. vomiting in the. Did you hear them, Leah? I just did it. Oh my god, the holy water. Yes, we're doing the holy water, and we're replacing wine for the holy water uh, for tonight for wine o'clock. So why don't we? Do you want to jump into that now, or? or I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think we should do it. Um, also, holy water is a fantastic Madonna song. It is a very fantastic Madonna song. Okay. Oh, thanks, Kara. Thanks, Kara. Shalina said, hi, guys. My first time here, and I just got to say I love looking at Eloise sleeping. Welcome. That's so sweet of you. And yes, she'll She's be. She's such a little she'll fluff. She'll probably be there for the next hour and a half or so. Okay, so let's. Yes, Jess, it does sound heartburn inducing. I'm going to take I'm gonna take a couple of sips and like assess. Assess, yeah. Because I I, I'm good. a little nervous by, by this drink. Okay. I feel like I would wake up in a doorway if I drank that. <laughs> a doorway? What does that even mean? You're going to be standing like sleeping to the side of the door? I don't even understand that. <laughs> or do you mean like a random doorway? Very 80s cocktail? Oh my God. What are we getting ourselves into? I don't know. I think Jody, Jody was like, Jody dropped the bomb and then ran away. Yeah. And she's, she's like, like here I'm you go. Guys, this. go try it. And then I'm not taking any, any like, uh, responsibility, responsibility for, for it. it. It is going to be sweet. Look, this drink has everything I don't like in a drink. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sugary because of the lemonade. It's going to be way acidic because of the, um, the lemonade as well and also the other uh, the pineapple juice that's gonna eat me out eat me out <laughs> eat me from the inside ow <laughs> ow <laughs> thank you leah for the for the gift the oh gift thank itself. you leah okay let's, let's go to this before it, i mean i feel like it's gonna cut through the glass the acid in it right now yeah, so we need to move quickly though. we're going to one o'clock this is classy music for a dumpster fire drink and this music is intended for the wine any hole is the goal okay so listen this is what we're going to drink tonight it is literally toilet bowl cleaner <laughs> it looks very I, wait, unappetizing let me, i'm gonna mix it with my stirring device. Chris is using a skewer, like one of those giant skewers. This is not a natural color. You know how they say eat your colors? This is <laughs> not what they mean by this. Dr. Fauci is <laughs> like turning over right now that we're drinking this. Okay. Um, Jody, where are you? Okay, I'm pouring. I don't know. This is going to be the first time I spill something. Oh my god! And he's good thing he's pouring it right over the two hundred dollar keyboard. 
Oh, and by the way, Chris made it um, four servings of it, by the way. Here you go. It looks like Ecto Cooler. Look at it. Oh, no, no. No, I mean, I don't, I think that pineapple juice is bad. It's not bad. It just opened it. This literally smells like feet. Listen, some no, people I mean, are I'm into gonna, that. I'm going to literally throw up from this one drink. Okay. Well, maybe it should cool off Smell a little it. bit. I'm getting notes of, of like, uh, what is that drink called? I think it's like one of my first drinks I got wasted off of it. Like <sighs> the Bahama Mama or something. Or No, Malibu Bay Breeze. Oh, God. If people didn't know I was gay, you know, mm. back then. I it doesn't really smell like feet to me. It smells like... It may, It smells... In such a way that it, my, this is my initial reaction. Ready? Look, everyone, look at my screen for a sec. So yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting no, notes it's of this face that happens. Notes of Cheetos. I'm gonna try it. I'm getting Lysol. All right, I'm going in. No, I can't drink anymore. It's sweet. It's not nope. that bad. No, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I think it's fine. I like no. sweet stuff. The last time I gave something a one, you know what happened. But in case you're following and you don't know, I was vomiting in the Airstream's toilet. I think it's fine. I'm going to, uh, I know what I'm going to give it. I just savor it. Let it coat your tongue. All right. So this face I'm doing is natural reaction and will likely happen every sip I take. <laughs> Chrissy said, yeah, Chrissy, what did you say? I have a, a, a stone stomach or something. What was the phrase you used? <laughs> you said a stomach with spikes. Or uh, no, I said a cow stomach or something like that. No, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Patsy's saying don't drink it. You said I have a I think it, it's an iron stomach is the actual phrase, right? But I think you said you have like a like a ceramic stomach or something crazy. <clears throat> um, this is bad, but I'm going to make it work for a little. I think it's fine. No, it's not fine. Turn that into shots, you guys. I, I'm going to be Sipping this. Oh, wait, we're on cameras only? Whoops. I need to give my review. This drink broke my Wi Fi. Leah, you and your damn Wi Fi. We need to come over and fix it one day. Yeah, Leah. I mean, I'm here for it. I will fix it. Steve said I'll sub for a year if you down it all. Listen, Steve, you don't want to. I am back not mad at it. You don't I want to go uh, against promises or whatever. What's, what am I trying to say? Like, I would do it. But I'm concerned that I would be shit-faced. I think it's 90% sugar, which is probably why I'm not so mad So, like, at legit, it. you're saying if I down this, you're going to subscribe for a year. It looks like a... Because I will do it right now. <laughs> How to... Elias has a price. <laughs> I will pay for Steve's year sub if you down it all right now. It seems like people are going to do it, so I think I'm going to go for it. Should I go for it? I'm going to go for it. Are you all ready for this? Let's see. Are it's you gonna chugging me, it? It's going to take me a sec. Let's just... Just don't throw chug. up. I don't, like, I don't think that people want to see you vomit blue. Oh, God. Is it coming out of your mouth? <laughs> Oh, it was the glass reflection. I thought he was literally just letting it dribble all over himself. And <laughs> like, God. <laughs> this looks... I am I get, like, um, mouthwash. And I also get... Uh, oh, wow. I mean, I've never been turned on more in my life. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't believe. What did I do? Oh Hang my up. God. That is ridiculous. 
<laughs> All right, I have a new rating for it. <clears throat> I don't know that I, I mean, I'll, wow. Okay, I am rating mine and I'm going to give it. What are you giving it, Elias? <laughs> I said, well, shit. Elias, um, you are crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Lumi, for the cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rate it as a five. Wait, what? Was that an act? No. You rated it a five. I'm just saying, I mean, I was able to drink the whole thing and I'm like licking my lips and I'm probably So it was literally, uh, that was all an act. Okay, I'm going, oh my God, Kara. Stop it. No, Kara, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Wait, huh? now hold on. I need to just specify if we reach a level four hype train, I don't know that I can do a shot now. At this <laughs> you know point. what you signed up for. Okay, I am going to finish mine now, <clears throat> only because I don't want to. Alana said, well, this is not going to be a fun night for Elias. I tried to save you. Remember that as you're throwing up tonight. <laughs> I'm also going to get you Tums. Can you have Tums while you're drinking? Is that acceptable? It's going to be weird. It's going to be like a weird flavor. I just don't want you to vom everywhere. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Although... Listen, I think that if you were to throw this up, it's probably a good thing because it's like toilet Disgusting, bowl cleaner. Yeah. No, it's toilet bowl cleaner. So it's like you're you're really doing the Lord's work. Oh, I understand what you're like, saying. Like throw up into the toilet as long as it's in the toilet and not like the side of the bed. Someone just pointed out and I have no idea if this is true or not. Is it true that cats can sense vomit? What does that mean? I, like, if I am going to, uh, if I'm about to throw up and the cats sort of act funny, does that mean, like, I'm going to throw up? You know when animals go, like, and run when they sense fire? It should be called holy shit water. Look at Chris. He can't even do it. All right, I'll no, do it. No, don't do it. You're going to throw up. I'm not going to throw up. Uh, excuse me. I'm a professional. Alliance. Oh, really? I just don't, I don't like drinking in the microphone. It <laughs> I know it creeps me out. <laughs> oh my god! They can tell if you're not feeling well. They would be circling Bentley if that was the case. That's really true, Leah, for sure. Oh my god, we are on level four hype train, which is that this is the level now that if we do, oh my god! Oh, this is cold. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is really cold. I need somewhere if you hum when you are nauseous, you I read somewhere that if you hum when you are nauseous, you won't vomit. I doubt that's the case, but I will consider it tonight. Okay, I'm gonna finish it. Come on, Chris, if Elias can do it and he hated it. We're gonna both you know. end up in the emergency room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we like, Doctor, we we did it for the stream. <laughs> you never know what stream will ride. So Kate and Ellie, a uh, hype train. There's a lot of aspects of Twitch. There's um, subscriptions to Twitch, which if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link with your subscription with your Twitch account, and then it's um, you get some perks. And one of the perks that we have enlisted in our account is when the raffles go live, you'll get more raffle entries if you are a, a subscriber to the channel. Okay. Oh, God. So that's one aspect of it. So the other aspect of it is if you gift subscriptions or if you buy subscriptions on your own to give out or if you use these things called cheers, which are the little diamond shaped thing, which um, you can send out cheers like LP just sent out two $100 cheers. Not $100, sorry. 100 cheers. Bits. Uh, bits. That's what the word is. Oh, God. That's that's a lot. Chris, you are weak. It's no, it's just it's cold and it's really sweet and it's acidic. It's like it's a lot. I can't find how to do it. To I feel like I'm like, Deb, if you are using Amazon Prime to subscribe, you can't extend it. You have to just month by month do it. Um, if you have that drink left, just make shots out of it for the hype train. No, Heidi, that was it. That was the whole, that was four no, it times. Wasn't. Excuse me. Oh, never mind. We still have more toilet water. All right, so I'm going to veto Thank you, that. Harpo. 
I'm going to veto that. Thank you, Harpo. Thank you, Mozzie. Thanks, everyone who is... Uh, wait, Mozzie, what Mazi, is that Kathy, icon? Mozzie, Kathy, uh, drinks, shots. You need a salty snack with it? Did you eat dinner? LP, we did eat thank dinner. you. And thank um, you, Sam and Watson, for the cheers. We are about 20% away from finishing the level four hype train, which is in two minutes. I feel like this, this is becoming a Friday occurrence where we're getting like crazy oh my god i think we did it oh no we're not 98 percent kara level, thank you again level five uh so leah you redeemed redeemed a language lesson which by the way i need to specify right now this drink was so cold that my tongue feels numb. that's what i feel i feel like it's like uh i can't not i'm not slurring my words because i'm no, drunk that's yet. how i feel chris yet i literally feel like i'm slurring my words and i literally had one drink which was this drink i know it's you like know? i haven't even had time to process it good thing we had a hearty <laughs> dinner with our leftover indian food which is fantastic so listen if elias doesn't throw up tonight he's now elevated to iron stomach because we had super spicy indian food takeout and then he's now having sugary acidic drink chug Listen, chris and chris the fur the it stream, seems like the the train is coming in and we're going to do a tequila shot the str oh tequila is what's happening well what else are we gonna do do we have the whole like rigmarole can i do the whole thing no what do we not have um we only have salt is that a, a question for the audience i'm gonna uh <laughs> Poll the audience. Is it acceptable to do a tequila shot with just lime? Or no, with salt and then lime like squeeze juice things as like a chaser. That's an interesting question. Can we switch out of wine o'clock because we're done with yeah, wine o'clock? Dead to us. Well, not dead to us. Excuse me. I want to know. We didn't buy our oranges. We don't have oranges. I want to know something. Um, if, like Chris said, I keep forgetting Leanne. The lime is a very good thing for me with the tequila shots. Like I enjoy the lime, so I want to know. Yeah, we are both red. You don't need salt or lime. Just drink it straight. No, 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 no. Mega Mag. That's, That's what it. I said. That's how I do it. I prefer it that way because it's like the the whole process is exhausting. <laughs> let's be honest. Tanelli said, "Sure, why the <laughs> hell not? You've already had." toilet bowl cleaner <laughs> literally i listen the tequila shot there's it's exhausting there's a whole process of like licking your hand which i'm not a fan of to begin with i don't even like to eat with my hands oh chris is such a baby about that then oh you God. have to take the shot then you have to follow it up with sucking on a lime i am not here for it you are not here for sucking on a lime no what about sucking Yes. I mean, this is not Jackie from um, Real Housewives. Yeah. What is that? I mean, this is like that's going into inappropriate territory, but Jackie from Housewives, look that up. It's weird. It's really weird. Bella Mag, you know what? I think you watch Jersey and I think you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, we could have a whole episode. Listen, we, we could have a, a whole season, a whole 50 episodes on what's going on right now with um With beverly Erica, hills jane on beverly hills oh Housewives. my god okay folks i need you to understand something prior to this year we are now quickly diverting but prior to this year we never have watched any housewives episode ever of any of any season i always awkwardly not awkwardly i don't know why i said that i definitely even judged people who watched that we started watching this year Salt Lake City, which Lisa led into... We hit level five, two shots. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> level... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Salt Lake City, which led to then New Jersey, which led to New York, which led to Beverly Hills. And we've only watched these seasons. And holy moly, when I tell you the drama, and I am here for it. And this latest Beverly Hills drama with Erica Jane is fascinating. Because I think it's just terrible. I don't yeah. want to give anything away. I can just sum it up and say that he and 
listen, she's got to be involved. There's no way that she's not involved. What they did is just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And there's two people involved, and one of them is likely the culprit, but we think the other one's a culprit. You have to watch or, like, just Google it, Erica Jane. You'll learn more about it. But it's so good. Those shows, like Steve Yeah, said, Leanne, a thousand percent she knew what was going on. There's no way percent. she didn't. And Pastor Steve said, I can't do those shows, holy narcissism. Listen, I'm with you, and I didn't watch any of them ever for 13 years now because of that reason. No, me neither. I but mean, we some, didn't watch any of them. None of them. And and, and Sue and Danielle and, and Leah now just started watching. But Sue and Danielle have been watching for a really long time, and they've been telling us about it. And I always was just like, I don't get it. I don't get the appeal. Why would you want to? watch something about these like random people but i just i get it now i get it like i want to watch more i want to know what's going on we watched the hulu special yes christy ish we definitely watched it this is how deep we are in it yeah it's I'm like, really honestly it's a great special but it is perfectly summed up it's so sad like that you're willing to stoop to that level to maintain this persona. Like, it's just... Yeah, so, The Leah, people they threw under the bus, like, and just we, took advantage we, of... We are stalling. It is not okay what she did, what he did. Heidi said all of their names should be Karen. So, listen, I think um, that I've learned a little bit... <clears throat> excuse me. Listen, the choo-choo train is here. Oh, you, look at that Sith cat. You see it? I, I've i like lowered the temperature on the air conditioner like by three <laughs> degrees because I feel like I'm just radiating You're heat right now. You're all so funny. I love you all so much. Wait. And I'm going to, you tell the story about how much she's the devil, he's the devil, and I'm going to get the tequila shots. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing with it? Are you doing just... I want the salt, the tequila shot, and the, the lemon juicer, the lime juicer. Chaser. The tra- That's a yeah. little bit weird, but I'm going to allow it. Yeah. Just, okay. I'll just splash it into my mouth. You'll see. Okay, the, this the, is going to be weird. The fans will see. Um, so anyway, the, the thing about housewives is they should all be Karens. I get that. Totally. I'm with you. But there is something interesting about some of them not all of them but some of them i do genuinely feel are like good people they like want to better the world they want to celebrate their success and i am here for that and i think that especially in wait hold on chris are you saying something chris chris what is Chris is like talking to someone. I'm FaceTiming Leah. Oh, I'm like, Chris is inside talking to someone. Alana, I love Garcelle. I literally was thinking of her as I started talking about this. I don't want to like, I don't want to turn anyone away from what we're talking about with this. But my point is, I genuinely think that there is some goodness involved in some of these people. And even this current season with some of the um, conversations that are happening specific to like the um, Black Lives Matter movement and some dialogue and conversation that's happening is important. And I'm happy that that is happening, that it's available for all of the folks who are watching these shows to like learn a little bit more about that. You know, and so that to me is where the show succeeds. And even in Salt Lake City, there's this um, Heather who has her own business and she wants to separate herself from the Mormon culture and from uh, her divorce from her ex-husband and she's been excommunicated. There's like a lot of strong storylines that are available in all of these stories. But then, then, then there's also the incredible narcissism where it's like, I'm the best ever. Why are you looking at me that way? Don't you dare talk to me and blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to go f- deep into this, but I'm telling you, it's way better than I expected it to be. And I am here for it big time. And especially this newest storyline with like the Hulu documentary we were talking about. So... Kara said, why do I feel be- guilty for starting? The- no, oh my God, not guilty at all. Steve said, there's going to be a vomit camp soon. Oh my God, imagine I run inside and do that. No, I feel good though. Um, and Lana said, yeah, there's definitely a mix for sure. 
Eloise's leg is too bright for her. I don't get what you mean. Oh, yeah, I see it. That's so funny. Blue Indian food vomit for sure. And Kate Tanelli said they do know how to suck you in. The reason why I even started watching was because Salt Lake City only had one season. So I felt personally like I was um, able to watch it without any prior knowledge. That's what's been turning me off to watching like season 10 or 11 or 12 of like some of these other shows. So Cheddar. Um, Leslie said, we'll be really lucky if there's a Twitch tomorrow. There will be a Twitch. Absolutely. And someone also asked if we have watched Cruella, but not yeah. yet. But what is this? But we did watch. Do you have it? Yeah. Don't spill it. Raya and the Last Dragon was really good. Elias, you need some music for when Chris steps out. Should I play the P music? Is he going to get mad? Oh, wait. Oh, snap. Do you hear this? This is the first time I'm hearing it. We have a Real Housewives of Cheshire over here, but not see it? Oh, the P music is just for me. Oh, I'm stopping it. I apologize. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. Lick your thing. Oh, folks, this is just a disaster here. I don't know what is going on right now. Is there the... Oh Wait, God. that was Aquafina for Raya? Stop it right now. I had no idea. I am here for that. I love that for her. Oh, no, she played the dragon, Sisu. Wait, so then who was Aquafina? Was Aquafina in Ryan the Last Dragon? Where is this information I'm getting from? Wait, I thought we didn't have a lime. Ask and you shall receive. I, Chris just found a lime for me. Oh, Raya was Rose, Chris. You told me Raya was, or you told me that Sisu was Rose. From Star Wars. Listen, Elias, I don't know who characters are. They're all the same to me. Sisu, Rose. So the human or the dragon? You don't know the difference? No. All I, right, so look, here we are. This uh, is... Oh, my God. We're doing believe. this because we got a level four hype train because you're all just what is, absolutely ridiculous. Leah, tell us what the brand is for this tequila because it's really good, actually. All right, so remember, Chris, what's the order? Tequila, tequila, tequila. No, lick, <laughs> shoot, suck. <laughs> ready? I am bright red. I Are you ready? Yeah. All right, go. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's fine, but Esplan res Beach, please. You're Respondo. totally right. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> All right. Well. All right. <clears throat> Just I to recap, Chris. Rose from Star Wars Episode Eight. Yeah, the one who everyone hated. I don't really understand why. Because I think she was are, wonderful. People are awful. And people I think... People are absolutely awful. I think that she and um, Finn, right? They had that like little... Finn, yeah. Love attraction thing. Yeah. I thought it was... I was here for it. I thought it was really cute. She literally got written out of episode nine because of the hatred that the fans gave. Yeah. And I am not here for that. Yeah. I don't understand it. Um, I'm going to go pee, Chris, so you can play your music. No. Now you know. It's dead to me. No. I didn't hear it. You are... You ruined it, Elias. Listen, folks. What you didn't know is that as I was getting the shot, I put on a lot of rouge or blush or um something i <laughs> just yelled at me from the kitchen what is this the 20s i 
<laughs> that drink was a lot of sugar and a lot of alcohol, and I feel like um, I'm gonna not sleep tonight because there is. <laughs> Steve said he feels like a terrible human. Oh my god. Um, so <laughs> yeah, Leah, listen, I got water, so I'm all good. If I have water though, I'm gonna have to play the P music. But full like general question, what is important tonight? isn't the hype train isn't the troll butt juice but the patch that i made <laughs> imposter steve with this is a, a stage production of the great gatsby Gat, gatsby i can't this drink was the worst decision we had all weekend so far I can't believe everybody's focusing on my face and it's making my face even more red. And so it's literally gonna, I'm gonna just turn into a tomato at this point. <laughs> Elias is gonna have a million pee breaks for sure. I mean, now, Elias, I don't even know if I should turn the music off since you literally spied on it. I'm going to have to license new music for the pee break. Even though I picked out the perfect pee break music. Wait, what is the wor Is this worse than the watermelon and the mustard? Which, what is worse? The like, drink. I think the no, drink was fine. I think the drink was better than the watermelon and the mustard. I think Elias was putting on an act because he wanted to get subscribers. No. Uh, listen. There's a couple of things. First of all, see his daughter. You missed the best patch. It's still available. We have not given it away yet, so you will see it again. Mm. Um, next. Wait, no, let me show it. I'm, I want to show it. <laughs> Kate Tonelli said, oh, my God, I thought I loved you guys sober drunk. It's just too much. Oh, that's so sweet. See um, his daughter. Look at how cute this patch is. It says bend the knee and it has a metal thread crown on Eloise. Adorable. Leah, I think you need half the amount and a glass of crushed ice for that drink and a straw. There was ice in it, Leah. I feel like we should just pour it to have it split. Here. Oh, no, wait, where's the, the other one? You I know mean, what? Listen, nothing is going to go to waste in this house. Another giveaway that we're going to do tonight that I've just decided right now is me and Chris holding our uh, toilet bowl cleaners. Oh, my God. Raisin in front of the muskrat cam. Everyone look at Raisin. Raisin is in, he's inspecting <laughs> the white balance. <laughs> listen, I mean, Elias, I'm not that mad at this drink now. Uh, no, I'm I'm mad at it. Folks, this is not going to end well. I'm just telling you right now, this is an important episode, episode 49. What I'll probably do sometimes if, when I find that there's an episode that has like a memorable moment, like a really memorable moment, I'll put like an emoji on it. <clears throat> and episode 20, can you all guess? Because I asked you before, no one answered. Episode 20 is an important episode. Oh, I want to... Yeah, I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sia's daughter, saying it's my best yet. Right? Thank yeah, you. I agree with you. No, episode 69 is the most important one, RLFL. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. I told you that 30 minutes ago this wasn't... Oh. <laughs> what? Steve is like, why are you having more? <laughs> Um, wait, Listen, so does anyone know what episode it. 20 is? Yes, tomorrow is episode 50. That's a big deal. That's why we're giving away a second Eloise patch tomorrow, and we have a new patch on top of it. Maybe we should do a little bit more, too. We'll see. Listen, uh, Megamag, no, that's not it. If I'm going to... If I <laughs> if you really want to find out, you can go to our um, Twitch, like, go to our Twitch, and you'll see the highlights folder or whatever. Go to episode 20, and you'll see an icon on episode 20, and then someone will... will find out steve said episode 50 should have a star wars intro crawl i have absolutely no idea how to even 
do that. I'm not opposed to it. I just have no idea how to even do that. No, Maybe. you could do it if you had, if you made the movie in iMovie or in Final, Final Cut, Cut, wrote something and then and exported then just it. exported it and played the video in Streamlabs. I mean, Steve, you, listen, I think, Steve, you sign up for what you want to. The patches are already made, so I'm on vacation now until Katie. Tuesday. You got it. The poop story. Good job. Oh wait, Sophia was here. Was first. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Sophia. You got it first. Um. So tomorrow, was it the poops? Oh my god, that yeah, was twenty episodes ago. Oh no, thirty, 20, uh, 30 almost thirty ep episodes ago. So Star Wars intro crawl. Steve Elias opened up. Um. So. Listen, I, th I feel like our creativity is evenly distributed across this stream. Elias is very much the video editor. Um, he does all this stuff in Final Cut. And I always look at the, like, he, like, always gives me a lot of accolades for the patches that I make. But I look at the videos and the highlights that he makes in Final Cut, and I'm always like, oh my God, how did you do this? And like, where did you think of to use this effect? Because it totally fits in line with what he's trying to convey in the theme of the, of the film or the highlight. The film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. And I, he opened up um, Motion the other day, yeah, right? Yeah, it was Motion. <clears throat> and you were like, oh my God, it's like a whole other world. Which is the equivalent of After Effects. Um, yeah. So first of all, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Leah, for uh, saying that. Leah said, I don't even know how he does that to cut all this into uh, all this to just a few minutes and then tell a story is insane. That's really, really sweet. Yeah. You um, always have a story in it. It's like it's it's like little bite sized snippets of what goes on in the stream, but it still has a continuous story. I, I mean, it's fun. I like it. It's a it's a fun thing to do. And Mega Meg, yes, that was almost 30. It was 20 officially today, 29 episodes ago that we came to you all and talked about the poop story, the infamous poop story. There are many infamous moments, so to speak, between uh, when we first started till now. And my I just truthfully can't believe it because First of all, from like a gross I still smell it in my nose. What? The poop. Oh. Like that, the fact, <laughs> like the fact that it's the, the fact that it's 30 episodes ago and I still smell the the poop in my nose. Lots of infamous poop, poop stories. We also, by the way, I'm going to say something. I'm not going to tell the story. Maybe one day we'll tell it. But there's another poop story that like is probably top tier poop content. But it just because of the nature of like Twitch and stuff and like I don't variety think I of know it. things. The orange box. <gasps> oh yeah. That, that one, I don't yeah. know that we can share. In the I stream. just, I actually don't think we can share it for a variety of reasons. And, and like, maybe we'll get to it at some point. Maybe but, we could leave uh, names out. Not, not up in individual. We would never name an individual in the no, no, story never. other than tater tot, but um, entities out. Yeah. Maybe we could do that. We have to think about it. So anyway, there's a there's like a real, real insane. You thunk the, you think the thunk. Oh my god! I mean, you thought the tater tot story was crazy, which truthfully that is. But there's another poop story that is even potentially more crazy. But I think it's a little bit more scary. Yeah. We'll maybe get there one day. <laughs> Steve said drunk Valheim should be fun. Listen, Steve, when we turned on the game, Elias was naked in the game. So I feel like this is very full circle in how this is going to go. And he's like, where are my clothes? I don't remember my character not having clothes. So uh, To be honest, I am like so not looking forward to playing as my personal character in Valheim because I forgot that the last time that we played this, I died multiple times and lost all all of my armor. I thought we had recovered all of that. We did not. I am literally naked. <clears throat> I am wearing boxer briefs in the loading screen of Valheim. Hmm. Not going to be a good time. So, uh, okay, wait. I leave for five minutes and Elias is drinking the blue juice again. Oh, yeah. We're there. <laughs> crazier than Apple Store poop story? Yes. I would probably say it's crazier because it's unsettling. The... Apple 
I think it's story. more uh, the personal part of it that's on. We're like we're. I mean, we're tiptoeing around. Should it. we just like tell the story, like completely leave out things? Yeah, I think like. Um, Okay, we're, right, we're listen. we've decided we just did it. <clears throat> we are going uh yeah. to tell the story. As Stromberg, we or me, I am still naked in that game. Still to this day. Still. Yeah, because we haven't played it since then. Okay, <laughs> folks, listen. We're, we are now we're telling the story. Tell the story. We're okay. going to get banned. We had discussions about this multiple times about like whether we should tell it or not. There's many reasons why. Maybe at some point we'll tell you like what the specifics of it are, but we're going to omit some big picture names. Listen, this is what happened when the, happens when the hype train comes in. And this is what happens when we drink toilet Blue. bowl cleaner. <laughs> All right, ready? Are you starting it? I'll start it. All right. I'm going to chime in like when I when feel it's to. appropriate. Yeah. All right. So and I'm going to mute you. <laughs> Are we on a like 15 second delay so I can uh, mute you for certain parts? No, I think if it's, if, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's, oh. it's going to be out in the world. Okay. Are you all ready for this? Um, are we really slurring? I mean, I don't feel like I am. I'm trying very hard not to. <laughs> so Holy listen, water, folks. it's like a confessional. <laughs> this was um, in 2018, summer of 2018. And we were just about to go on a cruise. All right. So the two days after this experience, we were leaving for a cruise. But now let's rewind a little bit. One of our neighbors came to us the one day and said, hey, can you just let your, um, your landscapers know that I don't appreciate when they pee into a bag and drop it off in my garbage? Now, the, the neighbors, very nice. We, all of our neighbors are fantastic like they are the nicest people we have the greatest neighborhood we're really fortunate when it comes to that and the person who lives across the street is an elderly woman um she's like 90 something years old her son comes and like takes care of her every so often and he mows the lawn for her and he puts the garbage out and everything and every time he comes by he is super nice and like always chats with me and so congratulations question it was folks. really unexpected for him to come up to me and say hey can you ask your landscapers not to pee into bags and leave them in my mother's garbage bag right okay so bella this person you're saying congratulations that wasn't uh they weren't around at the time <laughs> this isn't congratulations <laughs> no so wait not a cast member of men in black i have no idea what you're saying so then <laughs> chris tells me the story and I'm like, what? And I was like, we had just hired the landscapers. And so I was like, how do I have this conversation with the owner of like, um, can you ask your employees not to pee in bags and leave them in my neighbor's garden? Yeah, that was the conversation. And um, it's like, that's a weird conversation to have with uh, with anyone. Like Leanne, um, they're, the woman that you're talking about is our same side of the street next door neighbor this person is our across the street next door neighbor and when chris mentioned this to me i we both came to the realization that you <laughs> leah. can't what <laughs> no leah's <laughs> leah's comment sugar water uh-huh uh no not sugar water man <laughs> i never thought about where the heck do they pee well listen so we listen. So Mega Meg said, you just say you're fired. We were on the verge of that. And so we wanted to also kind of do our due diligence to make sure that we weren't just firing uh, Jody. the landscapers. Jody. Oh my God. Jody, you. What are we drinking? Jody, you created a monster. Literally a monster. <laughs> um, 
Jody will recap that in a second, but the welcome Jody, thank you for coming. And, um, we didn't want to just go outright and fire them without really knowing what was happening because the assumption was that it was the landscapers because it happened to coincide when our neighbor, like we had just gotten these landscapers and it coincided with the time that the pea started appearing in the garbage can. Right. So then when Chris told me, I had suggested not to immediately say something because that is just sort of like you point the finger, someone points the finger and then we react. And then like all of a sudden one thing leads to another and chaos ensues. So we let it go for like a little bit and sort of just observed what was happening. And then we also have like, we have nest cams in the front of the house. So we were, we were like, did, um, Inspector Gadget. What's a detective? Who's a famous detective? Inspector Gadget. Yeah, we were Inspector Gadget making sure that we were looking when the landscapers came to see whether or not they were leaving pee bags in the garbage can. Right. So the important thing here is the cameras. Sherlock Holmes. Thank you. Oh, That's yeah. a good. One. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gadget <laughs> over Sherlock Holmes. It's fine. Jesus. It's fine. This is a dumpster fire of a stream. <laughs> so the the front house nest cam points a uh, wide angle to the whole like front yard. And thir Thursdays, right? Is when it was? They were coming on Thursdays. On yeah. Thursdays is when the landscapers came and did their thing. And we would observe every so often and like we couldn't see anything that was going on well when i was talking to the neighbor's son i was saying like look we have the cameras we're going to keep an eye on it you know if it if we see something that's that's wrong um when they do come i'll call the owner like i have his number i'll figure it out jody says i mean that's the only way to drink a troll butt <laughs> <laughs> and Bella said, or uh, Leanne said, you were P investigators, and Mega Meg said, urine. Urine. Thursdays. <laughs> Thursdays. Oh All right. God. So then I guess we can fast forward to like the two days before. A couple weeks go by. Yeah. yeah. And we're like every Thursday, I mean, we're scrubbing through the nest cam to make sure there's no P incidents. I talked to the, um, the neighbor's son a couple times and like, just to make sure everything was okay. Again, like, I get it. I mean, like, if you're, you don't, like, nobody wants that. Nobody wants peeing their garbage. Obvi, you know? And those people across the street are so, so nice that there's no reason to not believe what uh, they're saying. Oh, if they you were, know? like, jerks, I would be, like, dead to me. Yeah, I mean, like, you're blaming I, me for something, and, like, what are you talking about? I would freak out and whatever. But, like, yeah, they're no, but so they're so nice. nice. So, so nice. And so then, first of all, the unsettling nature of someone telling you, hey, can you let your people know not to pee in a bag and throw it in my garbage, right? That's like really weird. It's just all around awkward. And so then I guess we can fast forward then to a couple of weeks after, and now it's two days before we're going to our cruise in August of 2018, and me and Sue and Chris are going on a cruise. For like seven days. So we're going to be yeah. away from the house. So, now, so like then we're kind of... Let's just sort of talk about the dates. On Sunday, we're leaving for the cruise. On Saturday, this event happens that we're going to tell you about. And then on Friday, which is the day before that, Eloise gets horribly, horribly sick. And we have to rush her to the vet and she's now going to be in the vet and like in the hospital for the whole. No, she had like a terrible infection. She yeah. was in ICU for, well, we decided we were going to keep her in ICU while we were on the cruise. So it was literally like seven days she was going to be in ICU just so she had care while she was yeah. while we were away bella said i remember this yeah yeah we were we like talked about it we we were vocal about it on muscar nation not the not this part this is this is exclusive content to you all so then the night of uh saturday saturday night or friday night i guess when we like dropped off eloise and we're like dealing with everything yeah we had just dropped off eloise at the vet hospital 
in yeah, there ICU. Is ICU. Yeah, there's ICU. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's one. Sam and Watson. It is expensive. Like it's really expensive to keep a cat in ICU for seven days, but Eloise is worth it. I mean, clear. Look at her. Look at the preciousness. So then. Um, it may, have, I think it was Amazing Raisin back then. On um, it wasn't Muskrat Nation. I think it was. Amazing yeah, it was Raisin. definitely Amazing Raisin. So we come home and it's Thursday. Oh, it's Thursday because of the landscaper situation. That's what it was. Yes, yes, yes. It was Thursday night. Chris looks across the street on the the that day. The if you remember, I had a terrible day because. I took that Friday off because we were going to pack and everything. Yeah. Because we were going to pack on Friday, like situate ourselves on Saturday. And then we had an early Way morning early departure Sunday. on Sunday. Yeah. And so I took off that Friday. So Thursday was like my day before vacation was starting. And I had a crazy day. It was like back to back all day because everything was happening right before I was going to go away. And I pull into the driveway that night, that night. Right. And so across the street, I'm coming, I'm walking into my house, uh, into the house and side note, Jody saying how you have a little bit of rosy red cheeks. Oh, it's my rouge. Leslie says, Oh girl, you need to watch the, all of the stream in all caps. (laughs) (laughs) So then Chris is walking across the street and I see him in darkness. It's total darkness. And he has his iPhone flashlight out. And I'm wondering what's going on. This is so weird. Now, Thursdays in my mind, I've already committed to check for something, check for anything in their front yard, check for pee bags. Like normally I I don't care what's going on around me. I like care about our yard. And, but now I've been tasked with making sure that the landscapers aren't peeing in the neighbor's yard so we go across or he goes across the street and with his phone with the flashlight of his phone i'm I'm noticing that i'm now with my eyes way far away seeing an orange box like one of those types of orange boxes that like home depot has where the top when it folds in kind of like interlocks at the top yeah it's like a big tote yeah yeah and so when you open it it kind of does this thing and then when you close it, it does this thing. And then when it lands straight, it's sort of like interlocked, flat, you know? Yeah. So he opens one of those and because I thought it was weird. It's like bright orange. I'm like, Thursday's my day to check to make sure the landscapers didn't pee in their yard. And so I, now I go over and I'm like, I had this really long day. I'm just about to start vacation. I just want to like relax. And it's after the Eloise situation too, just so you know, like that whole Eloise situation was front and center. That was consuming me. Like I felt so anxious about Eloise. And I see this orange box and I'm like, what, what is this? We've never seen it before. Never. I mean, like, they, he takes care of her yard, and there's no reason there should be an orange box there. So, <laughs> Chris comes back, and he's like, I see him sort of sifting through. There's a plastic bag involved, and I'm like, what's going on? And then he comes back to me, and he, I mean, I don't even know how to say this, but he's like, there is an orange box over there, and there's poop in a bag lose he's losing it and I'm like, oh what do you i mean i think poop? i mean i he's like no there's human poop in that bag in that box across the street it stunk i opened it because i was like uh, like i felt weird opening it because it's on their front yard but they have a very long front like front yard and so there's no reason that would be there and given everything that's happened before I was like, what is this doing there? And I just wanted to make sure it wasn't yeah. anything I was responsible for. And I opened it and I was like, there, the, I, I think I came inside and I, I mean, excuse my French, but I said, there is human shit in that bag, in that tote. Yeah. And let me tell you something. There is something really uncomfortable about being alerted to the fact that there's human poop 
inside of a box that's very close to your house. I don't know like how to explain that any better. It's weird. But it's weird and it's unsettling. And then my mind starts racing like. No, because we were going this? away. That was the concern. We were going away for seven days and we're thinking like. Yeah. Then we immediately start going into like the weird things of like. Have we done anything? Like, is there a reason why this is happening? Chris, we said new patch idea shit in a box. <laughs> we were thinking, like, I remember the conversation that we had where we have a pride flag in our front yard during Pride Month. Yep. This wasn't during Pride Month. And yep. we were thinking this was like the, like, I don't know. We just, when that happens, it's so weird it's that we unsettling. were trying to figure out what could we have done that would have prov provoked this. So then we're losing our minds, right? Freaking out. What in the world? Who does such a thing? And then we're connecting it directly to the P incident and like recognizing that there's some sort of pattern here of like this person is claiming that there's P in their garbage bag. No, then I felt bad because I was like, it. did I ever like, why should I have questioned them? They're right. such nice people. They're always like spot on. They take care of their yarn. Like if they were aware of something like they, I should have just trusted them and been like, Hey, like, yeah, this is something that's happening and we'll take care of it. Steve said no to self. Never. Uh, I wait, it went away. Where did it go? Never tell them to drink or something. Do you see it? <laughs> I don't know, but he's probably right. <laughs> so listen, let's, Finish the story. So, I mean, I don't understand why. I, oh, here. No to chat. Never dare the Airstreamers to drink ever again. That's what it was. <laughs> Hysterical. One, open that box. Two, you take a deuce in the box. Three, you set the box on the lawn. It's my poop in the box. <laughs> set a poster, Steve. So then um, we're freaking out, losing our minds. Eloise is in the hospital. There is poop in our front yard, essentially, because it's not far away. We have a pride flag in front of our house. We're considering this a hate crime, like full fledged. This is a hate crime. And it's, we are horrified. We're going to be on a cruise is what we're thinking. And some person is going to be coming back to our home and like doing something to the cats. You know, we're losing our minds. So then we look at the nest cam. And we've, I, we've now, now we know, like, oh, uh, yes. we're like, okay, inspector gadget, go, go gadget, poop mo machine. Leah, we don't have a picture of it. And we, <laughs> I think I might, I have to look at <gasps> my phone. What? No. Cause I emailed the company. You have a picture of the tote. Yeah, because I eat. Uh, that or, is unsettling. I am not showing you all this. this no, or disturbing. I checked, or if I check my sent folder in email, I definitely have it because I had to send an email to the company. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I went um, to wait. The, Malcolm, the reason why I consider the hate crime position is because in the front of our house we have a huge pride flag, and so. This is what we were thinking that like, what if this is someone? Yeah, I mean, it was like, like a distant us. concern, but it was like, I don't like, we didn't know. We didn't, we had no idea because this isn't something that you normally expect to see like a box of poop in somewhere. Like, it's and then that weird. it's, that it's reoccurring that there is like pee and poop and all sorts of bodily fluids in a reoccurring state in the same location. Like, I get it. You have like a ritual, but like, <laughs> Why this not is bury a... it. Said Mega Meg, I can't. <laughs> oh my God. So we look through the, the nest cam to see what is actually happening. And um, we're assuming that it's the, the landscapers. And now Sam we're and like, Watson, you are correct. I think the twist is it's not the landscapers. Yeah. Correct. I, we were certain we're like, we got it. I can just send the video to the owner and be like, Hey, look, it's not working. We'll go elsewhere. Um, but maybe you want to have a conversation with your employees. So we scrub through the video and we find that this is ha this, you know, what, what ends up happening on the video is the landscapers pull up, they start mowing the lawn and they're doing their thing. And they're really only here for about like, 10 or 15 Legit. minutes. I mean, they're very short. quick. So there's a lot of them and they just do their thing. Boom, boom, boom. They do their out. thing and they leave. And then 
I see like maybe five minutes into when the landscapers pull up, a delivery truck pulls up, unnamed delivery truck. And the delivery truck pulls up and the delivery person gets out of the truck and um, goes to the back, like to the, to the back and opens it up and is like kind of like digging through the packages and takes out this tote and puts it on the ground behind the truck and then disappears behind the truck. And now I'm scrubbing through, like scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing to get to the point where the yellow or the orange toe is like there. Well, as in the truck, the delivery truck now has left and left behind is an orange tote that was not there up until the delivery truck arrived. <laughs> Mozzie. So Mozzie works for FedEx. Mozzie, it's not FedEx. I'll just say that because orange is associated with FedEx. So it is not FedEx. We are not going to name the name. We're not naming the name. There are some obvious reasons why I think you can maybe all figure it out. But if not, don't worry about it. We're not naming the name. But the delivery truck showed up. There was no orange box there. Then the delivery truck leaves after a quite some time. And there's an orange box there. Okay, so while that's happening, visible in our video. But we can scrub through and nothing else touched the box. It's not like the poop bandit came in and pooped in the box because he saw the opportunity and said, oh my God, somebody dropped off a Porter John and now I can finally poop in it. Um, I Heidi, to set the record straight, I don't think that it was a hate crime. No, I, no, I, I, don't don't so. no I, don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Right. And so, so then, go ahead. So we go, you know, we're like, I don't know what to do. We take, I took the box off of her property and I put it on ours by the garbage because I was going to put it out to the garbage because I didn't like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want her to find it because I felt like she would be, she would be like, yeah, upset by it. Like, and literally this woman is 90 years old and she is so nice. She's always been so nice. If you guys know from the previous stream, my grandma lived here. Like I grew up knowing her. So it's like, there's a connection. Like the last thing I want her to be is a night like concerned for her safety. Right. At and the so end I've her like life, you know, I mean, that's Oh God, God knock that's on wood. Goal. I'm sorry. So, um, I mean, she's like she, 95 or 96. Well, listen, people live to like 130 now. Oh, who said that in, housewives yeah exactly Sutton I think Sutton said it. something like that well don't listen don't compare me to Sutton <laughs> so I what what I do is I take oh my the, god Callie at the campground <laughs> just commented and said I have a confession it was my food <laughs> Callie stop right now I can't I can't take it so <laughs> I take the poop box in and I email the company and I say, Hey, just so you know, this is going on. They were, they were really good about it. I have to say. It was interesting to observe. It was Cause like it was one, a very quick response. Yeah. And it was a very quick resolution to it. And they had, uh, another delivery person come and pick it up. So um, it was all very interesting to like watch the after effects of it, which was good because this all happened. I mean, this happened on Thursday. The resolution happened on Friday. So I'll commend them on that. And that um, because we were going away on Sunday. On Sunday. Yeah. And so now look, Eloise in the hospital Thursday night, the, the shit situation, the day of, or the day after day of, the day after. The day after. And then us leaving to go on a cruise and then like having our sitter come in for a week. It made me very uncomfortable. Yeah. Imposter wife, they picked it up. Like they, they literally sent picked someone. it up. They sent somebody like, can you imagine being that employee of like, hey, Sue, listen. yes, is on. I remember this. Literally. Do you remember, Sue, that it was just the day or two before we left on our cruise and how nervous we were? Because 
how horrifying at the idea that like what if this was a hate crime we don't know they know the route what's gonna happen what if we're what if they know we're gone for some time i (laughs) can you like can you imagine being that employee of like getting a text from your manager and be like hey i know you're like i this is on a friday too like on the end of the week on a friday you get a text from your manager saying hey i you know I know it's been a long week, but look, I have one favor to ask you. I need you to pick up this shit box at this house. Don't ask any questions. I'll give you an extra day off, right. but I really need you to pick up this shit box. And the employee was like, yeah, fine. I'll do it. Jay Gris said that situation is not in the training. LOL. <laughs> was it in a bag in the box or straight up in the box? It was, it was in a bag, in a like bag, a in the box. bag, like a full fledged, like plastic bag that you'd get at like home Depot tied. And Chris, like, I I'll never forget the moment. No, I was me like watching yeah. it from across oh my the street God, it with this flashlight showing something and I saw the untwisting of the bag, and as he reveals it, sees something, ties it back up, and runs back to me and closes it, and then tells me what he saw. Like, that is literally weird shit. It's weird. It is not usual. I, look, I have to pee a lot, which I'm actually sort of fine with right now, but I still feel if I were to have to do something like that, I wouldn't leave it in an orange box, oh, an God. orange like yeah, that traffic was not, cone box. That was not a good decision. Sam and Watts said maybe the driver had IBS or something and it was an emergency. Totally get it. 100 million percent. No, but if I that's get it. the case, then take like take the box with you. Yeah. What is the what is the camp campground thing of like um, take it? Whatever uh, you bring in, you take away. Yeah, there's a better way of saying that. Yeah, I forget what it is, but I feel like. That would have been fine. I totally get that because they're out on the road all the time. But don't leave it? it on and don't leave it repeatedly on the Oh, which on by the, the way, I don't yard. know if you got what we're saying here, but the but the the if the this bags, was a one off, it would have been like what? Like this is not right. But the fact that it was like he, m- the neighbor came to me m- and said this has happened multiple times like P or I, he said pee, but I don't know what else happened in there. Right, but but the pee bags that he's talking about, in case you haven't put two and two together, that was the this person. Or the pee bottles, that's what it was. Like, that's what this was. It was all of those times that, that, the, the, that our neighbor was accusing our landscapers of doing something inappropriate. Imagine if we fired them, how awful that would be, and it had nothing to do with them. At all. It was this person who was doing this on a delivery route and doing it repeatedly. So they picked it up. I went over. (laughs) This was an awkward conversation. Steve said, I I guess no drunk Valheim tonight. (laughs) I feel like we need to just play like five minutes. Yeah, we'll play a second. Turn it it on. We, I went over to the neighbor's house um, and I waited until I saw his car there because I didn't want to have this conversation with the woman because I didn't want to scare her and she didn't know that it was happening. So I went over to the, <laughs> when I saw his car there after we got back from the cruise and I was like, Hey, Joey. listen, I know you were concerned about this with, for your mom. Um, I just want to let you know with the resolution. And I told him the whole story and he was like, gobsmacked he was like what wait you told him the story i don't know this no i told him the whole thing i told him the whole thing and i said listen i just want you to know oh yes we were that we were monitoring it because we like we honestly we care about his mom i mean she's super nice and we've always been like the type that we're like oh they're wonderful they're we gave our number we're like look we're right across the street if she ever needs anything if she ever has an emergency here's my number you can always call us if she had like if there's a snowstorm or a power outage you know, we'll check in on her totally like she's a lovely woman Kara, and- that's sort of right the 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 situation is the neighbors that chris is talking about the actual house is like so far back from the road line they basically don't have a backyard their whole yard is like the front the front yard and then the house is very far set back and so they have a very small backyard 
rather than having it like midway through. Oh, that's nice of you to say, Imposter Wife. <laughs> what What is your name, Imposter Wife? I don't <laughs> like calling you Imposter Wife. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably why this delivery person chose this space to do that in because if they it's left so, the box, the family who lives there probably would never even know of it. You know, why would it, they leave it at the same house every time? Yeah, I think that's I think why. It's because of I that. think it's because of the house is like Mrs. Um, Steve. Oh my god, is is very far set back. Um, oh, Jen. Hi, Jen. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jen. Um, the house is very far set back, so I think it was like. This was the luxury bathroom for this person. He yeah. went to all other houses and was like, no other house provides me this level of privacy. I am going to take a dump right here in front of this house. And um, that was that was the choice. So Mega Mike said Mrs. Steve when I said what is imposter wife's name, which reminds me that Leah asked for a language lesson way earlier. And we'll talk about it. Two things that I have to say. One is the word for shit, which is scata, which is like scat, but with an A at the end. Scata. So that's your language lesson, Leah. That has like an A with an apostrophe on it or an accent. No, just S-C-A-T-A. Scata. But I feel like ah is like a accented A. No. In other languages, especially in Greek, all of the vowels only have one sound. Ah, e, e, o, u. That's it. A E I O U. Oh, that's easy. What's my last name? Uh, I have no idea. Can you say it? Siafakis. How many A's are there? C. Uh, two. Are you for real? Three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so now say each one of them with an ah sound. C. Uh, fa. Kas. There you go. That's how you say my name in Greek. Siafakas. Hmm. So it's easy. But all of this to say, I forgot where, where I was going with this. Oh, skata. Skata is, <laughs> why is that? Is uh, shit in Greek. But what was the other thing I was going to say? I lost it. Skata is Greek. Can I have the um, book? So I can write down some some notes on yeah, but there was something I wanted to say. Are there no fast food places near you? No, there are. There's yeah, like Chrissy. It does sound like I'm cursing him out, and I thought that when I first met him. But the what my last name? Yeah, cause because because my it, last name it is, sounds it's very like harsh sounding, and it does sound like a curse word. No, I straight up have been made fun of my like pretty much my whole life. Well, now you're triggered. But what was the other thing I wanted to say? I'm so confused. Anyway, I think that... Um, welcome to the craziness, said Steve. Yeah, this there is a nut house. house. Literally, I mean, there's no better party on a Friday night than this stream. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, all my notes are... You're good? I've noted everything. Should we play like a little bit of? I, we need to just check Chris the box, it? and then what we'll do is the giveaway because we're coming up on time already, okay, and I can't but, believe my this toilet water has distorted <laughs> all sense of time for me. That was a forty-five minute talk about poop boxes. What I need for you to do, if you don't mind, is grab me the computer because it's like really far away. Oh and my it's god, really you heavy. can't! I I can't. Please. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to spill every, this toilet water. No, over. Leah, no shots. I cannot, I would literally just lose my mind right now. Um, but by the way, while Chris is getting the computer, there is uh, an update on Metopia. The way the game of Metopia works is that your four characters get like taken away three times. So almost all of the people that we've included in the, sh in the poll back then when we did that um are now actual characters which i'm super excited about so the next time we play metopia which is going to be next week because kara redeemed it you will get to see all of the characters and i can't wait i've been obsessed it's been so much fun oh tell me how you really feel i mean i'm just drinking toilet water 
guys, this, this, I don't even say guys, I say folks, but look, it's really gross. <laughs> is it gross or is it fabulous? No, it's gross. I mean, we also. That was a big gay sigh, a really big one. It was a big gay sigh. And listen, this yes, is the Kara, giveaway. I, I clicked on your friends thing and I saw them all. So we'll talk about that. Five out of seven is gross. Leah, you know what I, my ratings are. I have very low expectations. Um, so this is the giveaway. It says bend the knee. It's Eloise. It's fabulous. And you all just want to hang around for this giveaway for sure. All right, Chris, uh, do the thing. Start your game. Not with the mouse, but with your controller. No, I need to switch to the... It's up there. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. Listen, Elias, who's running the stream? Bernie is staring at Chris right now. So the toilet water drink is my fault. Jody, this whole night is your fault. <laughs> Just understand. Wait, why is Wait, the background why is it? weird, Chris? Oh, Jesus Christ. What is that? What am I looking at? I have no idea. Click the eyeball and then click it back again. Where did the background go? I don't know. Maybe turn off the purple just so that we have... Turn off the purple. No, I turned it off. Yeah, maybe that's better. No. And you're upside down. <laughs> no, Chris, oh, it's the wrong, the wrong one. one. Oh, oh, my, my God. God. Jesus okay. Christ, Chris. Here we go. Jeez. Oh, Lord. my God. Jeez Louise. What is this stream? <laughs> I. Can't. Oh, my God. Hashtag waffle is right. Can you go now, Chris? Okay. I don't remember how to play this game at all when I'm sober. So. This is going to be a dumpster fire for a few minutes, folks. Just oh, wait. Understand. I need to start a server. <sighs> Chris. I don't know what RT is. The button that says RT. <sighs> okay, look, let me explain it to you. These ones. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Leah. <laughs> look, these ones are like gun triggers. Uh huh. So, trigger. Okay. This one is only one like position. It's either on or off, and that's a button. Okay. So, RB versus RT. Uh huh. You don't get it. Yeah, I got it. Which is RT? The trigger. Which is? This gun thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. I, I got it. So you I'm got good. It. Okay, here we go. How do hey, I Tanelli said screw the game more drinks? Listen, this game is gonna be hysterical right now. Are you're naked in this game. Literally naked. Full fledged We are, by the way, playing this game because Meepo rec uh redeemed it as a part of like our streams channel. And Meepo is not even here, I don't think. So, you know, WTF. Yeah, you have little booty shorts on, Elias. I don't even remember how to play this game. Didn't they have to update this or give us, like, the full game that we bought? Yeah, not yet. They Did you see the, the update that they released? No. A couple days ago? No. They said that, like, because of COVID and stuff, they haven't been able to get the updates out that they've wanted to. And so they're delayed a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. They've given enough. Oh, they're... Gay Psy coming in hot. Okay. Jody, <laughs> Valheim is your honorary game for real. Listen, I feel like we've already played this game by drinking the troll butt juice. Yeah, so, folks, understand what's happening. First of all, on my screen on the left, I'm literally naked, except for my... Cute little boy shorts. I kind of like my body, though. Like, I wish that that's what my body was. Not as pixelated, but... Listen, no body shaming on the stream. Yeah, I know, but I feel like I would f feel accomplished if I was that. But anyway... I mean, it's literally Thor. I... <laughs> I would feel accomplished. Okay. What do you... What? Yeah, I mean, he looks like Thor. Look at this person. Yeah. So you wouldn't feel accomplished? Yeah, I mean, of course, but there's, I think, I think there's milestones in between, like, Thor and, like, 
where you currently are. Excuse me. What if I feel like I'm Thor? Oh, God. Oh, that was the biggest gay sign yeah, right this- there. <laughs> so anyway, all this to say that I am naked because the last time we played this, I died a couple of times and I need to find some clothes. Cheddar, get out of here. You can't drink the toilet juice water. Oh, here. I have some clothes here. Oh, wait. Here, there's, like, things that you need to pick up over here. Where? Like, if I go through the tunnel. Why is your game running at, like, crap performance? I don't know. Wait, do you want me to go through through the tunnel? Are you saying that there's stuff for me there? Yeah? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just Can you go move, uh, like, out of the way, please? Yeah, go, go through and I'll come through with you. Go, Cheddar. How much time left on the bomb? Three minutes. Wait, three minutes and then we're going to start <laughs> the giveaway, right? And Jody then- said, remember when Chris got yeeted through the portal by a skeleton? Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was a good clip. Where is my stuff that you're saying exists here, Chris? Oh, there was like a log here. Is that what you're looking for? You brought me here because you saw a log on the floor. What do you think I'm going to do with the log? I don't know. Where? Carry it around like Fantasia, Mickey Mouse on, my, cha- on my back? Look for the skull and crossbones on the map. Chris. Oh, here. Look, there's one right here. Right there. Go get that. Where? On the upper right. No, it's not there for me. Yeah, it's probably because... No, um, I need to spend time on my own to collect myself in this. Yeah, Jody, look for headstones. Totally. But right now, this is just not working. Okay, let's... Imposter Steve, when I tell you the hot mess that we are, this is like dumpster fire. Full. Full yeah, you can fire. wear a log. Look, Sophia says look, you can wear a look log. At, look at what I am. This is it. This is all I got. I just keep uh-huh. going. I keep going in and out of this stupid portal. I can't make up my mind whether I want to be in Honey Pot or this other land. Oh, wait. I found some clothes. Oh, a tunic. I'm going to just... Are you back in Honey Pot? And leather pants. Hold on. Hold on. I might have found stuff. Yeah, see, uh, it's all good. The problem is that you have leather and I don't. No, I have bronze. Excuse me. Or whatever. Yeah, look, I have... I have troll stuff is what I have. What is the... Never mind. I'm not going to ask that question. Because you're too embarrassed? How do I switch... Oh. All right. I am. Wait, what is R? Because there's RB and then RT now that I learned that. So this what is. One. Uh... Click that in. Folks, okay. just understand that we have been playing this game for close to 40, 50 hours, and Chris is still asking questions that are like of the level one variety. Okay. Well, look, I'm going to just say that we played the game tonight i am on fire okay i'm going through the portal my question to you chris is why is this portal linking us to the second boss like we were further ahead where did that go no i think we did that on purpose like we have so much like the swamp is up I think there that up there the swamp has like a portal, but it was getting destroyed, and so we just decided to not do it. Yeah, that so that means we have to walk our way up to the interrupted fern, which is Jody's name. That's what I don't understand. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Jody's name here is Jody the Interrupted Fern. So, should we go? Let's make the trek up there to the Interrupted Fern and then call it quits. All That's right, the goal. Fine. The goal is to get to the Interrupted Fern, which is any hole. Also. Oh my god, this is a disaster. How do you run? Oh, RB. Wait, I don't even have a sword. Oh my god. Wait, this when is I do a RB, he's kicking. Christopher? Look, oh, wait. I'm hitting RB. 
and he's kicking. Yeah. So wait, hold on. What is it? Oh, it's Albi. It's Albi. Oh Albie. wait, it's now Albie. I'm sitting. How do I attack people? It's Albi. Oh my God, Elias. How do I put the sword on? I I have literally nothing. I have nothing. This is a disaster. Disaster. <laughs> Okay, I'm in business. I've got my sword. I'm gonna just go. To I do not have a sword. I don't have any items to eat. I don't have any food, Chris. What am I doing? Okay, so L B. Oh my God. Do you know, folks? Just so you understand, before we started the stream tonight, me and Chris said we're gonna start really early, and then we're going to play this game for a little bit before we get started, so that we don't have to be a dumpster fire. And yet. Here we are. As a dumpster fire. Full dumpster fire. Oh, don't you have to eat in this game? Yeah, as Stromberg, I have pants on because I'm using, like, extra. You know, like, in warehouses where they have um, the, uh, what are they called? The, um, like. Wait, how do you get to the question? Warehouses. You know what I'm talking about? Like BJ's and, like, Costco? Or the place we go to to shop. The... The little village. Oh, outlets. Outlets, that's the word. I, just like outlet shopping, have a bunch of extra, like, old stuff. That you repurpose. That I've repurposed to be pants and a tunic and a hood. How do I get to my inventory so I can eat some food? Leah wants a disaster patch. Oh my God. I have so many ideas. There's not enough time. I need this to be my full-time job. So make it happen. To just make patches, patch design job. I have no food on me, Chris. I don't know how to get to food. What do you mean? It's your menu. Yeah, but how do I get to that? Why? Uh... Oh my God. Okay. Oh, there's the troll. Wait, why is he a special troll? He has chest hair. No, they always have chest they, hair. I've never seen them have chest hair. They have chest never, hair. Never, ever, ever have I seen them have chest hair. That's freaking me out. <laughs> oh, my God. And he has groin hair. Oh, I died. That's it. That's it. This okay, it, well, folks. listen, I'm going to fulfill our destiny and make it to the interrupted fern. I don't know what disaster is going on to the right no, of me. No, I am... Uh, this is a disaster, and I also have to pee, so I don't know how you're going to do that. I mean, the pee music is dead at this point. Look, I'm, am I even more naked? I'm not sure. Are you skeleton? No. <laughs> like Robbie Williams? Wait, is that his name, Jody? We were talking about it. Yeah, I think so. All right, well, I'm going to go pee once more. Okay, I am going to make it to the... Where is the uninterrupted? Wait. Uninterrupted? Excuse me. It's up. Interrupted. Wait, which one is it? Is it this one? Elias, before you go. Go on. That's Mossy. That's the interrupted. Okay. I'm going to make it. ADD interrupted first. I don't know. Elias is judging my cartography skills with my mapping ability before he left. Okay, so listen, I'm going to get here while Elias is peeing in this torrential downpour. And then we're going to start the giveaway. We're going to do Can Chris Get It? And then we're going to detox from the poison water that Jody suggested we drink tonight. Also known as troll juice or holy water or Lysol. This storm, though, is uh, this is not filling my fantasy right now. I really just would. No, Estromberg, I don't hunt for food because I don't. Oh, look, look, I asked. I asked for clear skies and the game listened. It's beautiful now. This is what I was asking for. And the beautiful clarinet in the background. 
<laughs> Troll juice. Elias, I was complaining about the terrible weather and the game gods just opened, parted the skies and opened it up and said, listen, you've gone through enough tonight by chugging troll juice, but water. And now I'm going to give you nice weather as a result. So we're going to close out this game. Oh, I'm not, I don't even know my computer. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, listen, it's you're contributing nothing. I'm going Literally to accomplish disaster. this goal. Where am I? Oh, I'm almost there. I'm going to get to the un, the interrupted fern. Chris's name of it is ABB interrupted fern. And I don't know what the ABB part oh, is. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Is it, it like... Leave me alone. Get away from me. <laughs> I just want to get to this place. Folks, just so you know, on my screen on the left, I'm not moving because I didn't even bring my computer and the computer weighs 400 pounds and I'm just choosing to sit here. <sighs> so listen, we just everybody's hanging on because they want this beautiful Eloise patch <laughs> and a chance to win it. And the I'm going Steve said, you're uh, yeah. Are we sure that the troll juice tonight wasn't the COVID cure? <laughs> and imposter wife said, <laughs> and Jen, I should say, yeah, hey, Jen. Call you imposter wife. <laughs> No. Oh, say, that's what I wanted to say. The second thing. Oh my God, imposter wife. You just reminded me. Imposter wife, comma Jen. Wait, wait. You can't see me. Oh, there we go. Oh my I'm God, Elias, fire. you are a mess. Wait. So, uh, imposter wife, your name reminded me, and this is what I wanted to say before when the Greek lesson happened. In Greek culture, I think I mentioned this before, but I want to mention it again. It's so awful because in older Greek culture the woman would be named and people re would refer to her as the feminine version of the man's name. Wait, like they changed the first name of the person? Like, uh, for example. Like if somebody's name was George, then they would name them Georgina. Right. Is really? That's weird. No, 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 no. They wouldn't name her that like by like birth name. They would just refer to her. Like if I was telling you a story about, if I was telling you a story about George's wife, yeah. I would say to you, did you hear about Georgia, Georgiana or whatever? Hmm. Like if George- It's like a step beyond misses. I mean, a step beyond, I mean, it's, worse it's terrible yeah like a like going a, a one step like further like if you watch the handmaid's tale oh they it's refer like, to her like as offred or whatever because fred is the man and uh, she's of fred that's what this is like steve and stevia yeah exactly <laughs> we're all imposters deep down yeah okay i am so coming bad. i'm coming in hot to this to this um to abbreviate, abbreviated fern. Interrupted fern. Oh my god. Abbreviated fern. What is it? F N. Wait, I nothing. thought it was called abbreviated fern. Nothing. I get nothing. No. <laughs> Just drop the vowels. Wait, or no? Just what? drop. Drop the middle letters. So Chris would be El Elias Anna. Yeah. Or I would be Christina. Yeah. You would more likely you would be Christina. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm coming no, in. Look, so I'm look, listen. male, male, female, female. That That's not even a concept that could have existed then. I but am in, here. In ancient Greek cult of ancient Greek, like my higher generation culture prior culture how do i get into this house can you kill them please yeah get out of here get off my property it there would always be the man to the woman oh it's the abbreviated fern yeah a god oh my god thank the you worst. the interrupted fern was destroyed by chris <laughs> I mean, uh, I was called Lorenzo growing up instead of Lauren, the male you know, version of the name. Are you hearing this? Can you all thank you for voting me as having, wait, a foul smell from the swamp. What does that mean? Right side percent said get Eloise. She's right here. Look, you can see her. Wait, what is that? I'm I'm quitting. A foul smell from the swamp. I don't know what that means. And it's so I have dark. I've never seen that. Oh, what is this monster? 
Um, uh, Chris, I don't know what is go. We have played many hours of this game, and this oh has my never god, happened. my character is sitting down. Don't sit down, folks. <coughs> this is not good. Steve, isn't The Witcher Three really good? Really, really, really good. Uh I'm choking on this foul stench of this of the swamp. See, his daughter said it was ridiculous. Like, if you ask a Greek man of certain generations how many children he has, the usual response would be, I have two children and one daughter. Disgusting. What? See, his daughter. Disgusting. And yes, I agree with you. I think on Discord you should share what delivery company it was. I think that you can figure it out why we're not saying which company it was. I think that it's. I just want to go in my house. I don't. Chris, you are. Look at your arrow up there. You're moving away from where you want to go. It's so dark. I can't see. Just follow the yellow arrow up there. <coughs> I'm choking. Chris, oh, so I'm gonna die. Gross. So misogynistic. Yes, big time. Jody said this game always makes me cry laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're gonna just. I'm gonna. Where just, are you going? You're gonna just start. Um, listen, this is going to be like Jack in in Titanic. I'm just so going to go. Gonna die. Off. Yeah, I'm going off to the ocean. Goodbye. There's a deer in front of you. I mean, dead. Okay. Well, that is our contribution to <laughs> the interrupted fur. Oh, I mean, I think this is the end of the <laughs> Oh my god, Eloise is pressing buttons. <laughs> <Are you> <laughs> You, Did you can't hear make that up. What are you doing, Eloise? <laughs> I am dead. Oh my god, you can't make that up. Oh my god, you, I can't. I can't. Marshmallow soothes a tickle in your throat. I can't. But abishi, <laughs> as vegetarians, we can only eat dandies, which are like, and we don't have them. Yeah, which are like fake. Uh, marshmallows. <sighs> wow. I mean, I am just losing my mind at all. Eloise, times. if Eloise say putting that sound clip on at the end, literally as is he died, not the icing on the cake. I don't know what is. You died, and Eloise was like, <laughs> <laughs> "What even? You can't make it up." You well, cannot. anyway. So look, we have two more things to do. We have. Oh, I was going to say, I meant to take a picture of us before with this, with the blue troll juice. Well, you shouldn't have chugged it. I still have some. We're going to have to make more, I guess. No, can you just like pour a little bit in mine then? I'll steal some of yours and I'll take a picture and then I'll print it. Excuse me. Oh my God. What is tonight? Holy moly. I mean, you gave me the rest of yours. So look, folks, there's going to be two raffles going on. One is going to be this picture of me and Chris right now. Me with my full set of rouge on. Okay, so that picture. Oh, I hate it. No, do it again. No, it's like bad. Okay, that one's better. Okay. Oh, it's cute. Okay, we're going to do that, and then we're going to, I'm going to print it, and then we're going to do the uh, picture of Chris's, or not the picture, the um, patch, the, the big moment. Um, Wait, so what are we talking about with, pa with gelatin? The, uh, the marshmallows. Yeah, but what are, what is like, what are people saying? Leah's saying something. I don't know. <laughs> that's it you're looking up there and you can't identify what Leo no idea oh my god the last picture i just went up to was electric cartman there's so much more to share about metopia past that i can't even all right so what are we i'm gonna run the giveaway i'm running listen this has to happen yeah look chris look how cute this picture is adorable i'm i love it a tomato in it i <laughs> <laughs> this is the Wait, patch. let's do this first and then that Yeah, one. look at my red lips. Like I've I'm literally wearing look, lipstick. This is the picture. Oh, hold on. This is the picture that we're going to print. I'm going to print it on the little Instax printer. Someone's going to get this and also a uh, Masquerade Nation sticker. 
and I'm printing it right now. Can I give yeah, mine do it. away? Raffle right now. For okay, mine. we're running the raffle now. The Not for this. Oh. For this and then that. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I literally just said. Oh, my God. Okay. So, we're running the raffle now for the signed copy of us drinking the troll butt juice. Mm-hmm. It's five minutes. And it's happening right now. If you look at my screen, you'll exclamation see. Exclamation raffle hashtag waffle. Oh, shit. Could not print correctly. Pre-strike the film pack. All right. Well, it'll happen. I promise you. Oh, Elias, you broke it. <gasps> it's like bent. Try it. Try it. Try it. It has to happen. No, could not print correctly. It's going to happen. I will print this picture for you, but just like not right this moment. How do you fix it? Get a new um, How many of, cartridges are left in there? Um, I don't know. Let's see. These are important questions, Elias. Oh, the battery is dead. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. It'll happen. I promise you, you will get this photo. <laughs> Promises. <laughs> no, like legitimately, you will get this photo. So in three minutes, you will get this. Uh, one of you will get this photo. And then the, the last thing we have to do is um, Chris's patch. But while that patch is happening, we're going to do can Chris get it? Okay. So the raffle going on right now, the raffle fail no, is happening. going the raffle fail that is happening right now is the Polaroid that's signed. And then immediately after, what we're going to start is the raffle for the Eloise patch. I've made two of these Eloise patches. So we're giving one away tonight, one away tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, we're going to give a second new patch that's unannounced. <laughs> oh, it's printing. Oh, well, good. Nice recovery, Elias. <laughs> good job. Yeah. All right, it's printing. Good job, Elias. We need raffle music. Yeah, didn't we put that in the book? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on, excuse at me. Le at least like at this point the the book is like Encyclopedia Britannica. Look, all I know is that Heidi, a really long time ago, said that we need to reference this book back like six months, and it's been six months. Okay, well, we'll push that timeline out to like two years. You know what we never finished, Chris? Finishing the world in Mario Maker for the Muskrats. Oh, that's dead to me. Dead to you? Why? What happened? It's, um, that... That's a long time ago. That ship is sailed. So listen, next Friday is Mario Golf. So Jody, you like need to be in on that. And next Friday or next Saturday is camping. So we have a chance, a chance that Callie from the campground can appear <sighs> in person, up. not on the stream, like in the chat, because we know she's active out there but potentially in person could be on the campground with us. Leslie, my headphones oh, are here. He is, Cheddar is eating the screen because that's... And yes, it's Mario. Uh, Jody, I don't know what the like situation is going to be like. Like, I think that when you start the game, you know, are all the modes available? I think it would be really funny for us to play Mario Golf uh, what whatever the mode is where we all run to the the hole, you know, because any hole is the goal. I think that would be really funny, but I just don't know. Like, is that something available like immediately on Friday? Jody, I can't believe that you told us to drink this troll butt juice. Jody, I don't think you have a an, an and clue. how much you inspired this yeah. stream. <laughs> how much the tonight. night stream is devoted to you? <laughs> toilet, toilet water patch. Yes, that is... Can you put that in the book, too? Yes, what am I writing? 
I need a dedicated page for patch ideas because I okay. Well, that's not happening right now. This is just under episode forty nine. So toilet, toilet water drink, toilet water drink patch patch that you're gonna put toilet water drink patch on a patch. I'll, I have some ideas right okay. now. Got it. So. Jody, like I said, I don't know what the situation is going to be next Friday, but I'm fully in for like experimenting and playing around with it. Um, Chris, are you going to buy your like a copy for you for Mario Golf, or you or how's that going to work? Because I think you can only play one person per. Switch. I have no idea. We're going to see what stream we ride. So I think you should buy your own copy of it. Okay, we'll figure it out. The um, here you can do the giveaway because this, oh, this is my giveaway. This is your giveaway. Request the patch idea could be for Twitch points. Mm. Interesting. I'm writing that in. I'm going to just talk that Request through a second. A with the... <laughs> is like losing his mind. All with right. with the caveat that I can veto a patch idea because I need to just... It needs to be fully realized for it to... Um, Folks, I... So just to recap what Chris said. Chris will pick the ones he wants. That's it. <laughs> uh, patches are very near and dear to my heart. Yes. Uh, Leah, skin <laughs> food instrument patch. I am not writing the book. That's going to get us kicked off of Twitch. We are going to pick a winner right oh now. Oh, my God. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And the winner is Wenwas. Congratulations, Wenwas. You when will was. win the signed... Uh, what? Where is the photo? Where did it go? You're still developing it. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, is it overexposed? Like it's, it's just, broken? Yeah, it's like not there. Hold on. I need can to. Can I see it? Yeah, I mean, there's. you can look at it. There's nothing there. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Should hold it on. do something? I'll do it again. Look at this. It's a white box. Hold on. We'll see. So, when was wins the photo? And then we are going to start another one right now. Are you ready, Chris, to do it? Should I do it? No, I'm doing it. Excuse oh, me. Oh, sorry. Here. Okay. I I am starting the giveaway for the Bend the Knee Eloise patch. If you haven't seen it, it's just fabulous. This is what you all have been waiting for. This is legit, like many dollars worth. 12,000 stitch over 12,000 stitches. Excuse me. Okay, I'm starting it right now. Okay, here is the mouse. I think that my picture printed. Hold on. I think a, a couple of you guys entered a little early. So, Beach, please, Mega Meg, um, Sue. Sue. Sover and Kathy, put your entries in again because I think it was just before the raffle started. Okay, so the picture that we are sending out also printed just now. It happened. Okay, so can oh we? Oh my get... god, it's so cute. Yeah, this one's garbage. Yeah, because it's literally nothing. <laughs> Look, <laughs> like in this picture, this is literally nothing. Okay, but this picture is developing, and look how cute it is. Listen, this one is, I mean, it's literally got gold in it. Yeah. Like, do we care about gold or do you care about me and it's you? It's got gold and texture and gradients in threading. I mean, I just can't. You, it's unbelievable what I'm able to do with this embroidery machine. I mean... I, can you can you even put words to it, Elias? No, no words. I lose. I lose all all sense of all speech. sense of wait, but space like, and you, time. Can you look at this? This is really cute. Yeah, it's cute. I mean, I'm literally a tomato in it. What? Do you, it's white. What do you mean you're a tomato? It hasn't even developed yet. Yeah, because the tomato is still being fully realized. Chris is a tomato in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's red in like right here. Yeah, totally. Okay, we that's need... really funny. Here, do you can Chris get I'm it? I'm not doing. Oh, we're yeah, gonna I'll do, do can Chris get it in two minutes. 
This stream has been brought to you by Troll Buds. You are totally right. Okay, look, we are going to be switching over to Can Chris Get It? Um, and I'm going to tell you some stuff. So. It's yellow. This one. It's yeah. not yellow. Excuse this me. This is yellow. It's it's literally green. That's yellow. That's green. This is green. On tonight's Can Chris Get It? Um, I'm going to ask him to identify some character names or maybe even some actor names from a show that is very heavily rooted in like fantasy world, which is sort of similar to Valheim. Um, but let's see what he can get. Can I look yet? You can look now. So this is very tiny. Let me make it bigger. And let me just for a second remove this. So you tell me what you can identify from this group. Um, this is the Game of Thrones show. Correct. Um, the one in the bottom is uh, our Ariana in the middle. Our, the one with Needle. Yeah. The one in the bottom is the one with Needle. Yes. And her name is not Ariana. Is a... Uh, Leah, the rules are the golden rules of can Chris get it? Only Chris can guess. Elisa said, "Ask, uh, what is our name? Airstream Body McBotface." Okay, the guy in the left is Chris. What is the name of like a beautiful sad song in opera? Aria, Aria. Yeah, okay, got it. Got it. Okay, the mouse mousy face above her is the queen who. Did stuff. Queen, princess, then queen. Um, I don't, uh, it's like something the like me. queen who did stuff? Yeah, mar married to Joffrey. Um, it was like Meow Meow is her name or something. It's something with a Meow M. Meow. That's, that's it. Uh, Meredith? Okay, let's moving on. Brienne of Tarth is on the right, and then I the, knew you would get that one. That's why I found this photo. I with her yeah, she's g great, but she's Bye, great Leah. in this show. But um, she is a dumpster fire equivalent to the stream in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> In um, when she was Phasmo, Phasmo, Phasma? Phasma. Yeah, I mean it was the the worst. She was nothing. Chris, stop wasting time. Okay, you're right that she was Phasma, but this is not the the show we're talking about. Why does everybody have the same haircut in this picture? Okay, in the back Gay is the side. the mountain. And then uh, Jeremy Lannister on the left. Joff, uh, Jeremy Lannister. What is it? It's something like that. It starts with that sound. J. 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 Lin. J. Jaden Lannister. Not I, but you, Juden Lannister. Not I. Yeah, but. There is no I in G G J team Jaden. <laughs> Give me no what uh, no I in team. What are you saying? <clears throat> Juden, Judas, Judas Lannister. <laughs> I can't. Like another word. Two letter word for two. I. Oh no, two is Spanish. Um, e. I like if I. Like, I'm. I. Yo. <laughs> Me, Jamie Lannister. They <laughs> Jamie Lannister. Jeez, Louise. Yo is I in Spanish. Yeah, at least Bella, give us I give me literally, something. Literally can't. 
I can't. Listen, I mean, full disclosure, <laughs> we've been watching we've been watching uh, Veneno on <laughs> I on HBO. No. Any one of these viewers knows I, what yeah. Veneno is. Listen, it, uh, we've been watching Veneno in, on on what? HBO Max? Is that Yeah. What? I don't know where my picture went. And it is in, we watch it in Spanish and I am watching the subtitles and I'm hearing cues back from like high school Spanish and I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm like in a Spanish mindset that you're saying I but two letters and I'm thinking yo. And that's literally, yeah. And you said you, and then you said two letters and I said two and I T you in Spanish. I'm thinking in Spanish right okay, now. Okay, Chris, tone it down, like pull it back. I am, <laughs> but I want to know where did the picture go? It's not. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Wait, look at it. Listen, it's really cute. Can okay, I just so focus? Continue. I know Jon Snow. Okay. The guy on the left looks like somebody from Star Wars, like Poe or something. It's in not Poe, but you're right. It's um. Is he in Mandalorian? Yes, the Mandalorian. Okay, fine. I'll accept it. Okay, I don't know. That's not a picture of her. On the right, but I think that's Sansa in the red hair, even though that's not her. Which red hair? In the bottom right. Incorrect. Who is that then? Because who else has red hair? Sansa has red hair. The guy in the middle above Jon Snow is the one who's like the librarian. Got it. And then... There's a semi red hair, so I'm gonna say that's Sansa, just based on your gay side. Correct. And so, who is the other red hair one? So yeah, the only one you have left is that last one. Yeah, who is it? <sighs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh yeah, I don't know her name. She's like the northerner person. Oh excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Like beyond the wall. So, what is the name? Of one of those like swan looking birds that's over by the park and that we walked in. Egret? Yeah. That's, that's her name, her name Egret? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a really strong like guess, and I feel like I delivered it. You did it. One. Fully. You got it. Like she you got every single one of these characters full fledged, full name. Just a, a question, because I said the librarian, but what's his actual name? Who? The librarian. Oh, um, the man who was... Yeah, I know who you're talking about. And let me look it up. Hmm. I don't know. What was his name? Wait, Chrissy said Jon Snow married her and they have a real baby, like a baby in real life? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Excuse me. Danielle is all over that. Sam. Yeah, Sam. Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank totally. you. Totally. Yes. Sam, okay. Can Sam I give well. this patch away? Because I, I mean, I feel yes. like here, Chris, you do it. I am I've a been... real baby in real life. Is mother of dragons in this photo? No. Weirdly enough, she's not. The look. Truth be told, there were many photos that I was ready to pick. I picked this one because I knew somewhere deep down that the person Chris would know most immediately is Brienne of Tarth. And that is who you knew most immediately. I mean, you, exactly. I we know are. you. Tyrion is not here, too. I know. I picked this photo because I knew you knew Brienne of Tarth. I mean, listen, the husband is playing to the judge here. Thank you. Thank Christiana. You. Thank you. No. Christiana? Me. Who is that? The, like... Uh, owned version of you the greek story i told oh yeah oh, listen Christ. elias oh, you need God. to not make these jokes so I complicated i can't, I can't, I can't after can't. so much troll butt juice all right let's go so we're right. moving I'm, away from uh this from yeah i mean this is what you all have been waiting for this here we go eloise patch oh my god i can't even. it's so cute with gold thread metal thread that i now know how to sew 
Just so you all know, that gold crown, like, it shines. Like, it's really cute. Yeah, look at it. Look at Troll this butt shine. Juice. Oh, my God, I can't. Okay, here we go. This is the, the big one. The full Monty. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Again, we're giving away a second one tomorrow, but this is the first one. Before you give it away. The chat is only available when we play a screen a game that has one screen or can Chris get it. Any other version of it, like Leah, you're saying, we don't have it on here because there's no room. Just FYI. So Leah, remember when I said Leah broke the rules by saying something? It's because she didn't realize the chat was on the screen. Mm, That's the problem. Okay. okay, can I give away my patch now? Yes, do it. Here, I, here we go. Who is going to win it? Oh, my God. Bella oh, Meg. Oh, shit. Congratulations. Bella Meg, you won the patch. The famous I don't patch. think Bella Meg has won a patch yet. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, my God. Congratulations, Bella. Yeah. Look, you're going to win Eloise with a crown, and it's going to say bend the knee. <laughs> Sam and Watson said it's right. I swear to God, it's... Listen, I swear on everything, troll butt juice and all, that it is not rigged. No, This I is mean, totally, like, like, full disclosure. Straight up, just so you all know. It like, is totally random. This is a, an app that we use. We pay for it, and it has a built-in, like, randomizer. And anyone who does the whole, like, hashtag or um, exclamation point raffle <laughs> or hashtag waffle... When you do it, we see it on the screen that you come in, and then when you when we click pick winner, it just randomizes it. Swear to God. Now, how funny is it that the Can Chris Get It, which was unrelated to this. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you Jody. Jody. The fact that your patch and my Can Chris Get It were uninvertently connected. Oh, well, they weren't really, but. Uh, inadvertently. Inadvertently. The bend the knee thing I'm just thinking of with Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. You didn't plan that? No, I swear to God, I didn't plan that. Well, I mean, listen, Eloise draws parallels to all sorts of fa yeah, fantastic I mean, things. Full on. So. And fantastic, we mean the first four seasons of um, Game no, of Thrones because the rest is. Four seasons, like six seasons. I would literally just edited this one the other day, and you made it seem as if four is it. No, that's Dexter. Dexter's four and done. Okay, one. Done. Don't we'll watch just more take than an that. average five. Okay, so Cersei and Jeremy, Jeremy put it in the book. Can you Jamie, just Jamie Leah? Not yeah. Jeremy. No, it Excuse is. Me. Can Leah get it? It is Jeremy. Listen, put in the book that when was won oh, the picture. Right, I got that. And then and Bella Meg won Bella the... Meg won the patch. And for all y'all, we have a second patch. There's not one, but two Eloise Wait, patches. Two? And we're giving the second one away tomorrow. Oh, one more tomorrow. And then separate from that patch, there's another patch that I think is just so funny and super awesome. Leah already has one. Leah, don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, Leah, don't, don't tell it. Leah got a pre-release. Leah has like currently the only one of them in the whole world. So, yeah. So I think it's a wrap. I mean, I, I'm i a wrap at this Wait, point. Wait, actually, this is our officially our longer stream. I had no idea that it's at this length right now. Swear to God. <laughs> um, the troll juice is done. I <laughs> hope to never have that again in my life. <laughs> we have so much, so much pineapple juice to get through, though. A million percent more. Uh, Steve, I blame you. Uh, Kara, you're car kind of partially involved. But I had an absolute blast tonight. Jody is a, the the Jody founder, is the, like founder, yeah, hundred percent. Jody is the the problem in all of this. Uh, but I'm having a total blast. It's been such a fun time. Thank you all for participating and being here tonight. And we can't wait for tomorrow, which will prove to be an even more interesting episode because there's going to be a lot of engagement back and forth with like all y'all and stuff. So. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you all for being here tonight and good night. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Airstreamers. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See ya.